Hello, hello. We are back once more. Unfortunately, this time Delano won't be here. Uh, he's an Australian, so it's really late for him. But uh, probably won't be building today. I kind of want to fix this crafting issue. These things don't feel like crafting. I think it's mostly because of the transcendent metal. Last I checked. Or wait, what? Why is this even stuck? Because the ALs are the problem. I think I'll look. But I would really like to pass this transcendent metal today. Uh, so yeah, like we're really low on it all the time, and it's only one DTPF making it. So passiving it would definitely help going forwards. That might mean we need to add more DTPFs, but those should be fairly cheap to make at this point. Let's actually see if we have any eternal coils ready. Pretty sure Cloud also upgraded every single machine we have that uses coils to use eternal stuff. So. Now we have 11k, which is three more DTPFs. Might need to make even more. Hmm, some of the crafts that were stuck yesterday seem to have broke their way up, so somebody has been online. Let's see. Huh. Oh, Rubik's was playing. That's interesting. Oh, Cloud was also there. Like he was fixing some things. And Lin, what is this? People actually playing? Balls are not dead. <laughs> right. Uh Oh. Wait, ah. I see why it takes so long. <laughs> How long is this? Uh, how many slides? 14. Yeah. Five hours for this thing to finish. Uh, <laughs> okay. It's wild. And each of these are using like what? Half a trillion EU per tick. And it still takes five hours. Man. Uh, this is actually unfortunate because we don't have any pipelining on this. Uh, let me actually see what the pattern size is. I'll look for a in. It's 32, so it's exactly one. So, funnily enough, we could just like multiply the pattern size by like eight times and it would actually straight up become eight times faster. Could be something to consider. Although, I don't have to see Cloud online. He might be joining us later. We might ask him what he thinks. Because I actually I don't know how expensive they are to make. So it may like overall may, might make the thing slower if it takes so long for the um the stuff to finish before it can start the AL part. So that might actually make it slower. Anyways, that seems to be running and will be done in about. 15 hours or so. <laughs> hmm. You got that token on Or is this team you made? Uh, I think it's a DTPF. I think I'll see the progress on that. Destroy the controller. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to do that. I just, there's a random DTPF just working its way, making a Giga Chat token. Uh, yeah, running. Um, this thing doesn't even have a uh, input bus. Yeah. Uh. Turn this off for now and add a talking boss and that image that's there. Ah, Cloud is joining us soonish. Very nice. Need a drive. I don't know if it's all. 
I have none down. How long had this take, realistically? Uh, <laughs> Quintuple Compressed Silver? This is part of our quest. I think Rubix is still doing quests. Oh, they finished. Too bad. Uh, what about the digital thing? Where are these? Yeah, they are done. I need to go fix the NAC line with this. Although at this point, I think we could just shut down the NAC line, considering we get all of the NAC line stuff from uh, I farm this, I think. Let me just double check on the NAC line. Actually, I can just check in the amounts. Oh, I guess actually we don't get not quite right from Aya Farmy. Well, one billion not quite right. Also, I found this very funny. Like, we have half a trillion <laughs> pink mix stone dust. <laughs> what are we gonna do with this? Like, what? Same thing with lot, lots of other stuff as well. We're never gonna process any of this. Ugh. 5.5 billion crush monazite ore? Oh no. And the numbers, they get very funny. <laughs> 3.3 3 million string. That's actually surprisingly low. <laughs> 2.5 million balls. Oh great. Well, anyways, uh, what's looking? Kind of low on those. Oh, that's not the one. Are you actually telling me that our crafting CPUs are too small? Oh, wait, what? All of Nether Quartz? Whoa. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Do we actually not have a pattern to make nether quartz? Wow, I don't. Wild. Um, I don't even make this stuff. The autoclave. Could use. Um, uh, we actually have so much sodium, so it might be just easier to use this one. Just like click this button a few times. A few times more. Maybe even more. Okay, let me get this running and I'm gonna check how big the input hatch is on the MCR. Uh this the chest over here. Supposedly the yeah there we go the Giga chat token should start crafting now and it doesn't because it's lacking energy maybe in need for the Giga chat token the cut one hundred million exotic catalysts uh <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, how do you even supply that? Uh, a giant hatch might be able to do it. Oh, this definitely could. Do we even have any giant hatches? Uh, I forgot how it looks. Giant input. Oh, okay. You actually have to use the humongous hatch for this? Two billion exotic colors though, it's quite a lot. How many DTPs do we have? I actually don't know. 30? Okay, if I put this humongous hatch here, it just actually drains every single drop of exotic colors we have. Uh, okay, what's our biggest input hatch then? UHV, UHV, UXV, 65 million, so two of these would actually do it. Let me see if I can make them. Okay, that looks... Well, it uses some of the 
time I replace it. Shouldn't be too bad. Here are plates. Hopefully that doesn't take too long. Okay, almost instant. One. Need to figure out how the advanced P2P works. I have forgotten everything. I think you click here and do excited exotic catalyst and you need to add the in front. And this should be the thing. There we go. And now this should start. Only oh, recipe found. Hmm. Oh wait, did it start now? No. Should have everything. Uh Still no wallet recipe found. Uh... Maybe now oh, actually doesn't have an output bus that might have something to do with it. We even have channels here. We do. We need to count how many DTPs we have need to keep track. Okay, would you like to start now? I don't know. Hmm. I'm starting to feel like the exotic colors needs to be in a single hatch. Uh, I guess I'll just leave it be for now and I'll ask Cloud how he made it. Like, did he use the Himalos or not? Uh, yeah, let's see, what's why is this stuck? Looks like it's the infusion that's stuck, and I have no idea how that works, so I'm gonna leave it. Mm, this one is fine. Waiting for the ALs. Otherwise, everything is fine, so we can actually start. Automating the transcendent mill now. We should have enough stellar panels now. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like we have one quantum tank for it. And that should be. Actually, wait. I need to go check if it actually is voiding that or not. But that could definitely use a Yoka tank because the stellar catalyst is using such huge amounts in late game. It's like a problem. Separated hatch for one fluid. Yeah, that's what I think as well. But it's it would be a bit weird if you have to use the um you have to use the humongous hatch, right? And maybe you could use the liquid air hatch. Uh I can find it. it is. This one might fit it. But I think this only accepts liquid air, so I'll just ask Cloud after it comes online. So one of these should be making this stellar mixture. Am I even gonna know which one it is? I guess from the output attach. This is four. Uh, 
And we are looking for five, I believe. Oh, it actually does more. Okay, this is definitely not the stellar one. Actually, this this is a bit exotic. It only has four of them hooked up. These are not hooked up over anything. This seems promising. Uh, splendent. Okay, it looks like this is resplendent. Yeah. 24 as well. There's be one more somewhere. <laughs> Why are these still running? These are completely useless at this point. Wild. Okay, this looks new. I don't remember this being here. Point three trillion Uber tick is actually quite low. <laughs> it's like two percent of our energy production. There we have five in total, and uh, this should be that is catalyst. Yeah, and it is completely filled. This actually, yeah, this doesn't void anything. I hope. Uh, Be going down almost. Okay, yeah, but I'm gonna add a Yota tank for this. Uh, unfortunately, I believe this is on a subnet. But the subnet should be the same subnet that's feeding the Yota tanks down here. I think I can just add one more Yota tank at the end here for the Stellar Catalyst. And just hook it up to the main net like so. Let's see if I remember how you build these done things. Uh, steel frames for sure. The other tank casings. We don't have any controllers. What is this? We have any spells? We do. <laughs> There's seven. Okay. <laughs> oh, slight overkill. Chromium reinforced or shelly cut. I actually don't know if this tier is high enough. We'll see out see soon. Auto taping. Cyan card cable. Tunnels. Oh wait. This cable here might be fully saturated. Yep. So I need a wireless as well. Oh, that renders it a little bit so I actually have FPS. Pancake tank. I actually kind of think this is not going to work with the glass. Is it still happening? Well, we did have a break for like a two months almost, so it probably would be done if we did not have a break. But yep, it is still happening. Need to get the gate. Wait, did someone even need the maintenance hatch? Do you form? You don't 
form, what because it's missing the patches. Put and I have two outputs, I believe, on all of this. Yeah, one on the outside, then the three in total. Huh? Just the hatch as well. Oh, wait, <laughs> except this actually doesn't have a channel, annoyingly enough. So I'm gonna have to put it like down here. Break the symmetry. Or oh, well not the symmetry with the pattern. Although I guess we don't really need the um catalyst in the subnet, so it should be fine to just have it on the main net. Now what about this thing having channels? I don't think it has any either. Oh, it definitely does. Kind of surprising considering like there should be more than 10 of this. Why is it only using 20 channels? Oh, it's because some of these are actually only hooked up with um the other, ha other hatch instead of both uh the output and the other hatch. Let me explain it. It's still not forming, and I think it's because of the cell tier. I don't see anything else that would be preventing it from forming. Let me read the controller if it says what the class tier needs to be. In class for tier 1, in class for tier 2. Yeah, so let me just try the highest tier of the class we have. We have a UIV class. You want me to sure. Sure, this should be high enough. I wish this was indoors. I don't like working in the rain. <laughs> this class looks weird. Uh, I see some bars. What? Hey, yeah, that's trippy class. Do you form? This form? Forming, what am I missing? Uh, it might also be that this thing hasn't or doesn't support the highest tiers of class. Mm. I guess I'll try the cosmic neutronium. Is form. Oh, maybe I need to rotate it. Yeah, there we go. And do it form now. Yes. Okay. Hmm. What the passive trans panel? Uh, with dedicated machines, I assume. I think we have the stellar plasma recipe for it. Uh, yeah. Probably using this recipe. Uh, 
Um, it means I have to improve the Tesseract making. But this is nice because you don't need to consume or like excite the Tesseracts. Well, I guess that's pretty trivial. But like we're still using the worst possible recipe for making Tesseracts. We're doing this one still. Or we could be doing <laughs> this. This is way better. Actually, I guess this, this is mostly for making specially enlarged fluid. So this is probably the one I want to look at. So yeah, lots of DTP, of course, that I need to do. I don't, we don't have quantum anomalies on the meditator, so... I'm actually just straight up order like more external coils. Sure, 30k, why not? I guess alternative casings, uh, except I don't remember the names of them. Potential bridge. Wait, can Greg is wild. <laughs> so just up no numbers into AE and it does something, maybe. Like 16 plasma forges, sure. Oh. Let me figure out what has been going on. Uh, not really. Just still, well, I know we don't have trans and metal, so I'm just trying to fix that. Like, most of the base is still running fine, I assume. So I just need to start passing things in preparation for Stargate. This site could probably use, like, a pattern. It's a little bit boring right now. I think I want to do that after we, or while we do the backside of the Knackfield Tower. Right, are we getting void here? We are getting void here. We and replace this though. And I also need to move this, which is going to be annoying. Um, I don't even do that. I guess if you don't have to, if you don't have to move it, it would be nice to have the input here though. Go in. That, that is hooked up now, but the main input is still going to be somewhere around here, I assume. Oh, maybe this one. I'm going to... Oh, wait. Hmm. Well, there's no harm in leaving this here, I guess. I think I'm still going to empty it. Uh, it should be empty you now. Probably with a pump, I guess. Is it not going anywhere? Uh, he coming in here. One eight C zero B. Same channel. Yeah. Confusing. Uh. Oh, I hope this didn't actually stop any of the DTPFs. It might have. Damn, we're consuming a lot of this stuff. Where is it? Hold up. Is it going into the other tank now? Somehow? Uh, I think so.
Wait, why don't these share the... Hold up. This shouldn't be the same channel. Oh, it's not. It shares the four initial letters. Okay. <laughs> I hope I didn't break anything by doing this. Just double check. So this should now be connected to the other thing over there. Yeah, this is the same one. All right. That should make us be able to just infinitely make more and more of that stuff. Also, overnight we gained 82 extra EU by the looks of it. We are hugely power positive by the looks uh still. Although I would uh I would like to get rid of the wireless EU of things so we can use this power thing to see our power use. <laughs> Are we actually consuming 27 trillion EU per day? God damn. Actually, it might be the compasses. Oh no way. We have six banks of the ales running on each of them. It consumes half a trillion, so that's gonna be No, it's a half a billion, so it's gonna that's gonna be like 70 billion. It's very unresponsive. Is Axial still running? And what? Like this shouldn't be gaining any energy, really. Uh, at least, like, on this, uh, this field. Okay, how are you powered? Are you still using lasers or not? This still using lasers. What about the other ones out added? This seems to be powered by wireless. Yeah. How lazy. See how long is crafting the DTPs gonna take? I guess this also gives me a good overview of what's bottlenecking our big crafts still. If you can call it making the DTPs a big craft at this point. Like what the UIV tier tech, UEV even. Hmm. Okay, I need to go check how fast the mega IBS are. Um, it's pretty fast. Although it's still kind of being a bottleneck, I think. Although right now it seems to be mostly bottleneck by the pattern sizes, which are completely too small. Like look at this, it's inserting like five of this dust at a time. That's way too small. Are these, are these flickering on and off? They are still running like full speed. I don't know what's, I guess just slow, I guess. Are these still powered by lasers? They are. Although they, they could definitely use a higher tier laser. It's wild how two two five six amps of UMV is small at this point. Then I have harmony power is wild. Uh, what about the vacuum freezers? Well, that's cool. That's keeping up at least. I told that this is the mega idea still. Ah. Uh, We don't even have the vacuum freezer input here, I guess. Oh no. Only 8 billion EU? Okay, uh, this definitely needs an upgrade. Now, do we have UXV laser hatches? The answer is we don't. Can we make them? In theory we can, but I don't know how expensive these electric pumps are. Let me see. 
UXV sensor. Can I make like a thousand? Not. Okay, so UXV stuff is still very expensive. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> Actually barely UXV by the looks of it. Oof, the universium cost. Ouch. Okay, um maybe be switching these to like IV, one million. This thing is ancient. Uh, we could probably switch it to like 4k UMV or something like that. Well, that does mean we have to switch the entire backbone over here to like 1 million UMV. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> right, it's because it's feeding the um, the calls as well. So what we might actually have to do is make this line parallel. Have like 3 lines of 1 million UMV. How much would that be? Zero this is uh million billion one hundred and thirty one trillion EU per thick. That's about four times more than we I don't know, three times what we produce, so that's actually that should be totally fine. Now the question is do we have enough space to have three parallel phases going? It does seem like it. There's space for six even, I think. So that will definitely get us enough power for the Mega ABS and Vacuum Phasers. Now, how much faster would this be if I switch to 4K UMV? Right now it's using 8 billion. It'd be 50, 54 billion, so it's... What? Wait. No, wait, whoa, hold up. Is this half a trillion? I think it is. Uh, I think it would be three overclocks. Let's see. So I could go from 8 to 32 to 100. Yeah, it's and three overclocks. Which is eight times faster. Sounds like a decent upgrade. Let's see if you have the laser hashes for that. Uh, you, we do. Let's do like. Let's just make a crap of this. Why not? Sources are ordered. Let's do targets. It's light blue. And on light blue version. Source. Target. Okay. There we go. And <laughs> now we wait for the order crafting to do its thing. Uh, I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick and gonna watch this over in the meanwhile. I'll be back in a few minutes. So if we switch our primary source of power to be 4K instead of 256 of UMV, which is half a trillion per machine, we have like 100 machines, 
It'll be 50 trillion if everything is running at once. Which we actually can sustain, even with our existing Eye of Armies, and we're constantly making more and more. I'm thinking maybe we can actually just go through the entire base and each single multi we see we just upgrade. <laughs> now this craft, I actually have no idea how long it's going to take. Um, we, actually, do we? I don't think we have to upgrade the backbone for a while. Let me see, how much did the nails used? Yeah, that, that consumes about maybe like 20% of the backbone. So we can easily upgrade the Mega EBFs and the Arkham Freezers. Hello, Destroyna. <laughs> Looking for a correct friend of the stream. Yes, this is a correct friend of the stream now. Thank you for the sub, Destroyna. Six months. Oh shit, I didn't even make the six month subscriber badge. So I guess you'll have to live with the washer for now. Um. What is this chest? What? <laughs> I think this is like for manual uh, insertion of things. I don't think we need it. Let's see, let's see. What seems to be slow here? Oh, the subs are coming in. Hello, Paper Peak. Thank you for the prime. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, right, I want to go check if the universal automation for the process is still working. Ah, uh, yes, my pathetic amount of emotes. I have like, what, three emotes? Could really add more, maybe? Then again, my uh, Discord also has like three emotes, so I'm not really known for my emotes, I guess. Okay, this it doesn't look like it's running. Oh, it is. Slowly, though. Pattern size, maybe? The bottleneck here. Oh, yeah, that's definitely the pattern size. Uh. Oh, actually, I really want to update the server now. Didn't they add the new feature so you can see the amount of patterns you're using? Let me find it. Yeah, this one. This looks really nice to, have to find the problems. <laughs> Hello, Omega. Thank you for this sub. I mean, subs in what, five minutes? Like, what, three? Yeah, crazy. Yeah, this would be so nice to find what we actually have to multiply. Um, there should be a dev version coming in on the 14th, I think. So I think we're just going to wait for until then, and then we can just go over every single pattern we have using that. How's corrected new version dev going? Uh, well, I haven't really been active in the dev, com dev discussions in a while as well, but I did see some dates. Uh, let me see. Let me see where they were. Uh... Pinned, maybe it wasn't pinned, uh, but there was like a, like a list of dates for the dev version. I believe this stable was uh, slated to be released on the 24th, so Christmas Eve. And there should be two dev versions, uh, two weeks or two weeks before the stable, so actually, it should drop on Sunday, I think. So, for that. Hulk told me that the uh, the nightlies are quite unstable currently, so we'll see if the dev version is actually playable or not. But I guess that's why we're going to be playtesting it. So this is <laughs> definitely being the bottleneck right now. Uh, what is it even making? It's like graphite or graphite. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Damn, the startup delay is actually the 
like also pretty bonus with this. I guess that was kind of known. Cribs gets uh, using the cribs gets around that, which makes them pretty powerful. But with cribs, it's super annoying with, uh, with the amounts you need, as you can only have 36 patterns in each. But yeah, it's kind of annoying just watching the uh, the items sit in the cell, waiting for the machine to tick. I guess you could make it faster if you disabled batch mode, but then you don't have a batch mode, and that's even worse. Actually, do I even have batch mode enabled right now? I feel like I don't. Yeah, I don't. That's not going to be very sustainable for making the target, I feel. It's so laggy. Oh, this. Wait, what? This does have batch mode, though. Some of them do, and some of them don't. Huh. Well, um. It's a bit of a bottleneck, but it's getting through the backlog. So that's not gonna be the main problem making this. Oh, wait. I think this is mostly finished. I think I was crushing like 120 of them. Yeah, look at that. We can actually make a new IO farm very soon. And the other part also completely finished. Let me see if I can actually. I think I can auto build an IO farm now. Uh... <laughs> Although I have no idea how many of each you need. Uh, did it tell it somewhere? Oh, there it is. 31, 168, 48. I don't, oh, I don't think we have, have enough. Yeah, we're missing 40 time dilation field generators. Uh, stabilizations we have. Compression fields we have. Yeah, so we need more of this. Now, can we make more of it? We can. Okay. Oh. Ah. <laughs> uh, I don't think Cloud has touched my Tesseract automation at like at all because there's no reason it should, be, it should still be using ZPM circuits for that. Okay, maybe I'll just leave the IF Harmony to cloud for the time being and start working on making the Tesseracts actually properly automated. First, I need to figure out if you have any free DDPFs. I would kind of like to start one of these side towers as well. Hmm. Alternatively, we could... Like these are the ones making like we're still using infinity coils to make our tesseracts. I guess just replace these with eternal coils. Like is this any use? Chronium. Um Yeah, this doesn't seem to be in use anymore. I think it just turned off though. No? Wait, what? Oh, but it's not making any, any more crude. So do we auto craft in no petroleum then? Has to be passive somewhere. Well, this does give us a free DDPF. And we do have two more slots here. I'm really tempted to just wall that in these coils away because they're just they're basically trash at this point. Like look at how much infinity we have. Uh oh it's <laughs> 50 billion infinity. There's no point in keeping these coils, you cannot even recycle them. Uh now there's just a small problem, which is if I disable this DDPF. I'm actually not even running. Why is it not running? This is it missing? Right. 
This is the crystal computers, which are bottleneck behind these 10 different crafts I just ordered. <laughs> so for decoration. No. All right, let's bookmark some recipes. Ah, cosmic neutronium. I might have to passive again. Unless I, I do distinctly remember passiving it before. And the amount we have does support that theory. Where was it? Oh man. We need a map of these hours to see where everything is made. I did mark them, but I don't remember marking a cosmic neutronium one. What the hell is this? Wait. Oh, it's a P2P one. Yes, I can just add a new cosmic neutronium maker. How much copper do we have anyway? <laughs> what? <laughs> One trillion volts in copper? Hold on. That means the Yota tank is actually completely full. Uh, yeah. Wild. Wait. One trillion molten copper more than we have in dust? Uh, no, not. This is about 3 trillion copper, uh, molten copper. Okay, well, uh, that should mean I can very trivially make the uh, automation for cosmic neutronium. Although, can you make it using stellar catalyst? You can't. Okay, so we do need both exotic and stellar. <laughs> okay, this is completely free for the catalyst. Nice. Is some of that my LV run? Uh, yeah, it's like as a trophy or something. I, it's not very really useful for a long time. Let's grab this edge here and this edge over here. I guess would be work. Then we rip. <laughs> <laughs> What the hell? Strip the DTPF naked? <laughs> okay, so I think the tier was 13 for eternal coils. Do you work? Ah, off by one. There we go. Oh. What? Right, I guess it's about 3,000 coils, so that's one inventory full. Huh. I wonder if I can even finish this uh, for. Oh crap, I don't have the controllers! Uh, and they're stuck in crafting hell. Mm. Twenty four Molten Reinforced Plus. This actually gets stuck. Man, I just see things I could be making faster. Uh, this is a bit weird though, like... It's taking so long. I gotta take a look. Right now we're not making any more Tesseracts, which might become a problem in about an hour's time, so I do have to hurry a little bit. Okay, uh, looks wild. Yeah, this place definitely needs an upgrade. Man, UEV, like, uh I just built this place and it's already completely outdated. I might even consider using wireless here. Because... Actually, is there any point? 
I guess wireless is easier to use for UX fee, but you cannot use the multi on wireless on the plus machines anyway, so I guess there's no real benefit in using wireless. I might as well just switch this to U on V energy hatches. Uh that would be what? Four times increase in speed? Yeah. How expensive are you up to energy hatches though? Oof, electric pump. You cannot afford that, yeah, but upgrading this to UOV should be... Oh, come on, Cloud. <laughs> oh, I see, he has already, <laughs> already upgraded the UOV. Ah, uh, how lazy can one be? There's an 80 line right here! Oh, I guess uh, the line is quite low tier, so you would have to upgrade the entire 80 line. I don't know, I just really dislike using wireless hatches. Hello, Aim. Welcome to this stream. After a long break. Hmm. Uh, but Cloud should be coming soon, so I'm gonna ask what he thinks if I just start uh, ripping out his wireless hatches and replacing them with normal ones. There's just something nice seeing it on Nidus, like, constantly. Although, actually, I could modify Nidus code to monitor the wireless uh, levels. Because the hatches do pull from from there constantly, so you could see the draw. Hmm. But then we would have to switch everything to use that. And I I kind of like the lasers more than wireless, even though uh, the wireless are less laggy. Is it easy? Yeah, that is that feels so boring compared to lasers. Like at least with lasers, you have to do infrastructure around them, do some planning. With wireless, you can have your machines like up in the sky with nothing, and that's have to wireless everything. Wireless AE, wireless power, it's just, I don't know. It just doesn't require planning, and you can do whatever, and it's just, it's optimal. Annoying. Like, the actual optimal way of playing this game in late game is just placing machines in random locations, placing wireless EO hatches and wireless slave cribs, and you, you need zero connections to the machines. It's just, it doesn't have any cables going into it. This feels weird to me. It's basically, <laughs> you make your uh, processing be in the cloud. Have you reached this stage, you've made in it all infrastructure already? Yes, but scaling it up is still something you have to do. And I feel like that's uh, like most of the late like, game anyway, like scaling up. And it just feels so cheap scaling up by placing them wherever without any planning and just slapping down two hatches that are completely wireless. It's boring to me, I don't know. Did the battery get half full? Uh, yeah, but we feel, we keep adding more and more capacitors so it doesn't fill. Also at this point, it cannot go past this 0.7% because um, our primary energy storage is in the wireless right now, as the eye of harm is um, pumped their energy in there. Now what we could do is we have like, uh, I actually <laughs> might want to do that. So we could have uh, like a LSC next to the storage LSC, which just takes energy from the wireless network and just outputs it into the main LSC if you want to keep using Ninus. I kind of want to do that just to like kind of stand out as everyone else is using wireless as their main storage power or like, yeah, as their main source of storage in night games. <laughs> and it could be, could be fun doing something different. But there's the problem of how do you limit the um, extraction rate from the wireless. As you do have to keep a little bit of energy uh, in there to have the IO harmonies run. Now, it's kind of funny how slow these are. <laughs> like, how can 96 GT wire wheels be so slow? <laughs> oh man. What? Uh, this is going to take forever. Okay, uh, do we have the Omi energy hatches? We do. <laughs> we could just upgrade all of these. I mean, 
I might as well. Half of them are already upgraded, so like, whatever. More parallel? Ah, uh, true. That does add a little bit. Crap. Right. Um, damn, 10 seconds? That takes so long. Oh, right, uh, if it takes like... Actually, hmm. In what case would it go to 10 seconds with patch mode? The time gonna be like... Oh, what? It actually doesn't have any parallel. While well, doing some open computers reading is kind of built on custom OS or OpenOS. Uh, it's running on open OS. Didn't see any point in making like a fully fledged custom OS for it. Open OS had everything I needed. I just realized you could, in theory, use World Edit for this. Just replace the UV, uh, UV energy assets with wireless. Oh, that, uh, that is super lazy. You can actually do that with normal cables. Uh, normal energy assets, as you have to connect the cables. Where's my infinity mallet? Uh, incomplete structure. Wait, what? Oh, I know. Farm. Uh, You mean the recipe needs more power to start? Uh... What? It's a farming, right? Hello, Manifest Hunters. Now... I don't know why these are not formed. This is formed, but it's not detecting them. Let me try to place the controller, I might think that's a problem. I farmed. Okay, so the controller is just being annoying. Odd. What? 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 Now this formed. I don't even know. See, wireless hatches are weird. You keep using normal ones, they're better. <laughs> uh, these are turned off, yeah. Hmm. 
Mm, what's the TPS like? It feels pretty smooth. Yeah, it is 20 TPS, although it's really close to 50 milliseconds, so you do have to do some optimizations at some point. We are still at 20 DPS, which is not surprising actually. He actually wait, we had the same tick time even when we not we're not crafting everything, so that's kind of surprising in that like the TPS is very stable even if we're crafting or not. I wonder why that is. Like you would you would think it would spike a lot uh, when you started these huge crafts, but I guess the order pressing we have is so optimized somehow that it doesn't happen. Okay, there's something weird like with this side. Huh? What do you mean recipe needs more power to start? Like maybe this actually take so long to tick. Like they they have one trillion EU. Which can supply Oh, I see. So it might be that these kind of get filled every 10 seconds or something. And they just have enough buffer to supply their maximum um, rated output for that 10 seconds. That might be the reason why it's working like this. Fires are better. They are. I know how they work at least, but I guess they these are more performant if you think about it. Like, what each of these is gonna be? It's like it's consume no TPS at all. So maybe I just if I actually do want to keep TPS high, I guess I have to start using these wireless ones on things that don't need like thousands of amps. And even then you have the um multi amp wireless. Oh well. Like in this form now? They did not. Now they are fully filled. But it's like it's not part of the structure. Yeah, output space? What? Um, hello. Okay, this seems to have fixed itself, except it still says no power. Um, Max energy income tier ULV. Okay. Yeah. We need Delano. Uh, Delano should be here. Definitely on Monday, might be on the weekend as well. So yeah, he's gonna be grinding Path of Exile, I think. And now it appears the pattern sizes are way too small for this. Yeah. Now, the thing is, I did um, set up this system so you can automatically um, increase the pattern sizes using open computers. 
So in theory, I could set that up um, if I want to avoid the manual work of doing the pattern multiplication. Can you explain an advanced memory card to me? I don't get it. Uh, they find a tunnel. All right, it needs to be connected to a power network. Uh, I guess I can show it on like our actual network. Hmm. Would I have the best um, background for it? That's good enough. So for day-to-day -day use, you want it on this bind to input mode. And then you just search for the thing you want to bind it to. Um, this is the search field here. So let's say I want to have molten copper here. Let's do copper. I don't. Oh, right. Um, this, you right click this button here to set the mode. So right now it's on ATP ME mode. And we have all of our ME terminals named in, like numbered from 1 to about 500. So that's why you see so many of them. And let's say you want to do the fluids. So you switch to fluid mode. And now you can search for the fluid names. Now you will have multiple ones here. Uh, our system has both an in, in and out P2P network. Uh, yours might only have one. But usually you will want to have like this um, at in in here, uh, which only shows you the inputs because you will always want to bind to input. So like the normal use for this would be that you place a new P2P down, make it into a fluid P2P, then search for whatever uh, fluid you want in there, and it's fine. And now it will come out of it. Very simple after you kind of get how it works. And there are some advanced use cases where you can like change what the input is, uh, but for 99% of the cases, you will want it on the bind to input mode. As as long as you don't click on the output um, when you bind it, you cannot break anything. There is a mode in dev, I believe, uh, where you, it's a button that uh, only shows inputs. So it's actually impossible to break your network using the advanced P2P as long as you don't click any buttons except for the bind button. Why is TPS so good all of a sudden? What happened? We are crafting like Eye of Harmony. <laughs> And like 10 D I don't understand. All right, uh, I was still upgrading things. But this is gonna be like upgrading this is not gonna help that much anymore as it's gonna be bottlenecked by the Well, I guess I lied. How is this so slow? Uh hmm, okay, so it is 20 seconds. In UA voltage, so it's going to be five seconds with U and V. Although we're going to UX video right now, so it should be only two and a half seconds. Oh, but because of the parallel, it's going to be. Ah, it's a speed boost. But still, it's 10k per pattern. Oh, it's so slow still. Okay, time to give up trading, I guess. <laughs> Wild. Why do I have three bars of health? <laughs> I sacrificed my health um, for fun. I never ate any of the foods, so I actually only have 10 health base. And if you use the Eteric Sword from actually Utilis, I think you can sacrifice your health for Soul Fragment, which you can use to make watering cans. Don't ask me why you can do that. So I thought it'd be funny to um, only have the minimum amount of hearts you can have. <laughs> Would Wirecard be better here, maybe? Uh, not really.
prop one too much. Hmm. I think with GT plus plus machines you actually have eight of these to get to U of Sweet here. Well, I don't think that's way that helpful. Another two times increase over just this four times increase from UEV to UMV. Later, if you need even more speed. Although like this is 96 wireless. How are we going to need even more speed than this? Uh, okay, that formed nicely. Now, okay. <laughs> there's something weird with, I guess, the wall sharing here that the, like this side just forms fine. This side does not. Don't know what's causing that. Let's just replace all of them. We can figure out. I can turn them back on or not. Can't forget I was upgrading the, the DPFs uh, because we won't be getting any test racks right now. Oh, is this right side that's formed and it was the left side on the other side, so it's definitely something to do with the wall sharing. Do I actually have to replace every single controller on the left side? Uh, might fix itself, because these are formed for some weird reason. It does consider them like part of the structure, but it should be recoloring the casings. I don't know what's going on here. This, now this is incomplete. Uh, ah. Is the volume is already run other things to do? Uh no. Not even close. I feel like I'd make these patterns a hundred times bigger and it still wouldn't be fast enough, or like big enough. This is the main problem of having only one ME chest. I could switch the systems you have one ME chest on each. It wouldn't even be that difficult uh, because I think I have the same system here. No, this is using fluids. Yeah, this is fluids, but this, oh, right, where was it? Sure, I had yeah. So this would be what I would upgrade to to have more speed, which uh, it's pretty trivial to do. Sure, that gets us about three times more speed, I assume, because that way we have multiple images, so it doesn't have to wait for five seconds to just like do one half of a machine. Hmm. Let's finish up the energy upgrades first. Wait, did this finally form? It still didn't form. Hmm. Okay, I'll give it a little longer while I do the last side. If you upgrade your system to slaves, uh, if you mean cribs, we could. But that would be a very large upgrade, which doesn't even like improve it really. 
It makes the startups slightly faster, but that's not very useful in my opinion. That's not what I wanted to do. I could do slaves, but there, I think we have so many wiremill patterns that we would have to have like 10 slaves on each machine. A wire mill. Yeah, you need you would need a crap ton of slaves to fit every single pattern here in the every single machine. So this is more scalable in my opinion. That's why I really like this system. Uh, this should be off. I, I, in my opinion, crypts are the lazy man's way of powerful automation in late game. But I still consider my universal automation to be like overall stronger. Although I do, I have to give Crips the, uh, the fastest startup times, uh, the, like to win there. That's very convenient for like quick auto crafting, of course. Uh, but in a very large craft, the benefit from the machines turning on instantly is very small, assuming you, your patterns are correctly sized. So it's not that big of a benefit, really. <laughs> it's been two months till a noob. <laughs> True. I mean, it's been. The, Five years of me graying, and I still don't know how harmonies work. That might be because they are new, but still. Also, apparently Rubix was playing yesterday, doing quests, and within 15 minutes of him logging in, he managed to blow up an active transformer had to reload a backup. <laughs> I wonder if he added himself to the list and uh, in our shit. Actually consumed almost all of our wireless uh, hatches. Like 64 left, I think it is. Um, it appears the Nacfuel is still running. Because we are gaining energy here for some reason. Although I remember Cloud telling me that he shut it down, so maybe he didn't. Right now, because I did the right side first, I think all of them will be formed. Uh, or nothing is formed. What? I don't understand the logic behind this. Like it's, it's just not forming. Huh. Can I make a Mark V reactor now? Uh, Mark V fusion reactor compact, you mean? Right, we have like six of them, I think. Yeah, <laughs> we have a lot of these already. Rubik's explosion, indeed. Okay, I need to go to the bathroom again. Uh, let's see if this form. If they don't, then I'm gonna have to replace every single controller. Which is annoying. Back in two minutes.
Okay, I'm back. And it still hasn't formed. Great. Not that fuel can go burr. <laughs> it is still going burr, but at this point it's like less than 5%. Actually, it seems to be about, yeah, it's about 5% of our power generation, so fairly inconsequential. I of harmony are just so powerful. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm gonna just have to replace every single controller now. Thank you, Wireless, for being very annoying. It should be, yeah, these are still fine. I think I already enabled them. Now, they instantly form after I replace them, but I still have to put the batch mode on, which is annoying. Actually, it wouldn't even be that hard to make all machines have batch mode enabled by default. Hmm. <laughs> like, 95% of the cases you want batch mode enabled if it's possible. It would take a lot of time if I just made a quick code edit. So every single time you place a machine, it already has batch mode enabled. Huh. Maybe the config option would be a bit harder though. I said it would have to be a server side setting, I think. Or I guess you could code it so it checks the it checks the player who plays it and checks their configs. But that's a, that's trivial. It's just making everything everything be enabled by on the get uh, like be enabled by default. I might look into that after we upgrade because it would make upgrading our um, auto crafting a lot easier. It I remember it took a long time to enable batch mode on all of this. How many iron farms do you have? We have five currently. Four of them are tier 9, and one of them is tier 6. And we have one more, well, almost one more in um, in AE, waiting to be built. Okay, this side should be done. Yep, looks good. Now here, none of them actually formed, so I'm going to have to just take out every single controller. Let's so just for the first. Uh, yeah, well, Cloud had been playing while we were taking a break. So Cloud pretty much carried us from tier 1 to tier 9 out of armies. Even though I wasn't here for um, any of that progression. Although the progression wasn't that like that interesting. It's just you order the new tier every few days after you get enough of the next tier material. So it was a lot of just waiting around for the order crafting to finish. Not much really happened other than him upgrading some of the machines to rebel making the order crafts. You disable some of the ones you replaced. Uh, on the other side, I can take a look soon. Actually. <laughs> The code I added to change the batch mode using tools still exists, apparently. Like, because when I added batch mode initially, you didn't have this GUI. So you had to use tools, and I thought shift fix with wire might be fine. And it's still in there. Uh, the tool for batch mode? Yeah, it's a wire cutter uh, shift right pick, which changes it. I just used. Did I disable one of these? They all seem to be fine. Now, oh, did this already run out of things to process, or what's going on? Why is nothing running? Oh, right. It's activating like one machine at a time. Okay, time to make this 10 times faster. Oh, 
but I feel stuck. We miss stuck. We're not even using it. Hmm. Actually, these are already configured to auto pull, so it should be a very easy change to upgrade this to use individual ME chests per cluster. I think that was kind of the point of making this only use one so we can upgrade it when we need it. As by the time or when we made this, we did not need the speed. Uh, using the Vashra next to the ATs is always <laughs> so scary. <laughs> so you could blow up any minute. Actually, this is not even powering anymore. Anything anymore, so I can just disable it, right? Anything on this side? And I don't think I need this tablet anymore. Time for some conduits, the true UXV item transfer method. I still need to figure out a new way of automating the IO harmonies. Oh, well, not a new way. But like uh, upgrade my my design to support the tier nines. And now we have humongous hatches, which are a lot more powerful than the hatches I I had back when I made my automation. It means I actually have to switch this packet maker to make two billion packets. It's actually, I think I can actually just try to make them eight billion packets and. Yeah, wait, no, uh, A2 doesn't support doing more than 2.14 2 billion, unfortunately. I think 2 billion packets is the highest, and I have to use 4 fluid decoders. Oh, well, that's still fine. But first, I need to get the DTPS running. I'm <laughs> getting sidetracked. I also require a probe conduit. Uh, I think I do still want to keep the buffer chest. Do I? Yeah, yeah, I do. I can scrap this. That's on the wrong mode. How do you even change the mode? We don't know how to change the mode. Oh, I did. This doesn't have any feedback. I see. So we can probably get rid of this now. Place the cell back in here. Start hooking this up. Let's do the spine first. <laughs> it's really funny that the conduits connect to the controllers because they had that one inventory slot on them. I wish there was like a high-tech conduit that was a bit faster. As this only extracting once every four picks is a bit slow. In theory, you could do it using A2 and some cell cycling, but it gets a lot more complicated. Uh, but I might have to test it out on some high-speed applications. But this should be just fine. As long as the pattern sizes are big enough here, then it doesn't really matter. There was, I did see like someone improved my design of the universal automation and made like even better, but it was about 10 times more complex. So it's arguable if it's actually better or not. 
Because with the universal, I tried to keep it as simple as possible while still being powerful. Uh, right, this needs to be facing the correct way. Let's just place all the chests while I'm at it. Go with a better conduit yourself. I feel like it would be like one line change to make them tick faster, but it does also make them laggier, so it's kind of a trade off. In that sense, it's kind of a good thing that they uh, tick slow, as it does reduce the lag, and it does make you kind of follow the good practice of having big pattern sizes, which is overall less laggy through the batch mode existing. Also, I will quote, uh, Cloud told me that he managed to break my Universal Solidifier by shoving so many items into one cell that it overflowed. <laughs> That's kind of, well, it was using 4k cells, but yeah. I think that needs an upgrade at some point as well. Alright, does this just straight up start working now? Oh, right. I forgot you need power for these damn things. There you go. Just really make an ME chest with integrated power source. Actually, that should, wouldn't even be that hard to make, and it would be pretty nice. Like, uh, late game quality of life. Because these are completely free, so it's just annoying how to place it. Ah, uh, wait, I, I dashed, dashed out. Uh, right. <laughs> Keep placing these conduits. And this should turn on. It's not connected. Yep, simple enough. Hello, Shinkuri. No building today, only gregging. Some of the things are being kind of slow, so just upgrading auto crafting in preparation for Stargate. Mm, I do want to go back to building, but I also kind of want to have the Leno here with me. They don't really have any urgency on building anything like functional anymore, as we have all the things we need for the most part. But it's just really just making things look pretty instead of functional. Quality of light demon. Hmm. Ah, yes, late game, Greg. When you need something, just toss as many zeros as you want, then. <laughs> so dumb. It's already looking a lot better. How many machines we're running? I'm kind of interested in seeing how much Angelica can help with FPS. Like, Elena said it would be about two times increase in FPS. So, if you can actually bring me from 30 to 60, that would be huge. But it uh, still doesn't work with shaders, so I will. I still prefer having shaders instead of FPS. Those are some bold numbers. At least in um, without shaders, they did like two or, or triple the FPS almost in an empty world from three hundred to nine hundred. It, it might be possible. 
I think it does multi-thread the rendering, which is pretty big. Alright, are we getting through the backlog now? Mm, kind of? Seems to be going down. Maybe. Well, we still have half of the machines to go. No, Adam and Cloud are saying that there's something in the base that will take us a week to find. Oh no, what have they done? They're hidden a wall or somewhere, I assume. Or drives? No, I need to uh, increase the pattern sizes. When the drive, like adding more drives doesn't help because we have twenty four machines or uh, drives. Emmy chests and 20 drives or cells. So it would only, like, any one more drive would be about a 20% increase at max. But it means it can clog the entire system with one type of um, one circuit, which is also a bit annoying. That's, then you kind of like uh, have some other recipes or patterns to a quick, um, like a quick recipe to the side. For lathe, yeah, it is. I also have shaders on, so uh, I have nitrogen on, so it kind of like makes it washed out. Checking the backlog, yeah, the backlog is actually kind of like it's it's hard to monitor because every time you take cells out of it, they go back to the drives and get filled again. So, but this, yeah, this is definitely processing it uh, fast enough now. Still a few more to go. Oh yeah. Helps a ton to have a separate damage chest for each quad instead of having a single one for all of them. I think I have to do the same thing for the uh the bending machines. I did notice a few of those bending operations were very slow. Alternatively, I can just bump up the pattern amounts by like a factor of a hundred thousand. <laughs> Right, one more pillar. And I still need to pretty or make this room pretty. Right now it's really industrial looking with no decorations. I have a few ideas to hide these machines a bit better. Right, are all of the machines running now? Answer is absolutely not. I think we might be limited by the extraction speed of this conduit here. Ah. Uh, they are definitely getting in here. Oh, what's the bottleneck here? Yeah, it seems to be the item conduit extraction speed that's actually bottling in here now. Which we can fix by just increasing the pattern sizes. But this seems to be almost keeping up. It's so satisfying to look at. The conduit stack upgrades? They do, but the upgrades only increase the stack size. And these don't stack, so... It does, the upgrade doesn't do anything. I actually, I think the downgrade here would make it slightly more performant. Like code-wise, it would, would have to check the stack size. It only takes one, I guess. I don't think there's any real difference. Now I could get rid of this chest. Um, if I recolored this. Well, I guess the chest is fine. Or, it, yeah, the chest is pretty good for checking the backlog or like, is it keeping up or not? So I guess I'll just leave it. Yeah, so how many wires are there in the process? Like what? 
Okay, this is the pros. <laughs> okay. Three point five million. Uh One stop is probably more wise than I've made in this game. Phineas <laughs> was actually complaining um, in Discord today how making 4.7 billion copper wires is taking too long. I'm like, what the hell do you need 4.7 billion copper wires for? <laughs> this thing is kind of slow. 87 million blocks of iron? Hello? <laughs> what? <laughs> huh? Where do we make this? It's like forever. What? In the solidifiers, it's actually should be pretty fast. That they are all since for UMV. Now oh. it seems to be stuck. Maybe are are they running? Hmm. Oh, oh, huh. The pattern sizes are too small, I think. Yeah, definitely too small. They can do like maybe 1000 per pattern when we could easily bump, like we have humongous hatches on all of these. So we could be doing like almost a million parallel, I think. Actually, wait, not quite. Let me see what the number comes out of. Oh, uh, 2 billion divided by. 144 divided by 9. So yeah, we could do 1.5 million parallel uh, patterns. And it would just work instantly almost. Oh damn, that's kind of cool. <laughs> the drywall with the mods is cool. This is actually the initial prototype for my universal automation. This is where it all began. Yeah, but uh, as you can see, the machines are way too fast for the pattern sizes we have. Oh, oh, but wait, I have my computer here that, that can multiply every single pattern with one click. Oh no, oh no, <laughs> infinite power. Uh. Maximum size is 4 million right now. So we can make all our patterns 50 times larger. <laughs> oh no. This is a good idea. Uh, hmm. I think I'll just make this. 100 or 1 billion. Uh, that's a thousand, a million, a billion. There you go. All right. Now, running this program while we have so many crafts going is definitely a bad idea. So I think I'm just going to have to wait a little bit. Um, I could just cancel this dimensional bridge craft for the time being. That's probably a good idea. Um, is it? Yeah, should be fine. No, we shouldn't have too many other things crafting through the solidifiers, so we should be able to start the script soonish. It does take like an hour to run, unfortunately. The debug stream. 
Ah, uh, yes. I trusted my code. It worked before. It's gonna work now. I think I completely missed what the universal automation is. Um, it was a way of automating machines I came up with that allows you to parallelize an infinite amount of machines for an infinite amount of patterns at once. And it kind of like competes with the crafting input buffers that were added in late game automation. And they both have their benefits. Mine is definitely more complex, but the crypts are like very easy, but also very expensive. So right now, the universal automation is kind of the end game way of automating everything, uh, even though you can unlock it in EV already. But basically, I wanted to make fluid solidifiers parallelize perfectly among uh, all patterns, because usually you have to like only have one PA or one fluid solidifier for one mold. And I wanted to avoid that. So I ended up making this wall of drives, uh, which parallelizes all molds for all of these PAs. And then I kind of extended that to every single other machine in this entire game. And now our entire base runs on this same automation principle. So basically every single pattern for any machine can be made in like any of the machines that are connected to the system. I wonder how practical it would be to have a display wall with every pattern with size and balance for two by two. Uh, <laughs> Send this card. Uh, oh, you mean like an interface style of thing? Or, do you, or would it be open computers? You would do it with open computers, I guess, but like if you have to manually add it through open computers, then there's no point in doing it through open computers because you can just do it through, through A2 normally. Open computers is really good for like batch uh, increasing the pattern sizes. Also, is this still crafting anything? I don't think it is. All right, let's start the script. <laughs> Multiply <by> five hundred thousand. <laughs> oh God, what is this gonna look like? Uh, <laughs> takes half a million shares at a time. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh god, that's pretty silly. Uh, actually, gears also use a lot of the fluid. <laughs> uh, that's pretty funny. Okay, I think I have to add this same script to all of the machines, so we can just um, use automation to do all of our pattern sizes. Because at this point, we have so many resources that it doesn't even matter that we con like need 3 million per pattern, and it's really good for performance as well. Uh, while this is running, I think I can just go play some adapters. Wires are the number one priority, I think. So let's start with that. Now, the way I set this up is I think I can just place the adapters in the middle here and add the computer, and that's it. Uh, I have the computer parts, though. The two computers, okay, let's, uh, but if I order more, it might need the solidifiers. So I guess I have to wait a little bit. Green, we have screens and the industry a little bit. Green adapter. Do we have enough? We do. Nice. Mm. I guess I can actually save on adapters by just having them here. Although saving on adapters doesn't really matter as they don't consume any component slots. How oh, is A2 storage? Uh, it's chilling. We have like 400 digital singularities, so absolutely everything you see that's above like 1 million is <laughs> storage almost. Not quite, but like 
I would say everything above 10 million is probably about or in a storage cell somewhere, like a digital storage. Wait, let's just see. Uh, there was something weird I saw. Seven hundred thousand aluminium cables. Okay. I love how A two and O C just work at this absurd automation level. It's mostly just A two doing the heavy lifting. It's like honestly, New Horizons is just a showcase of what A two is capable of. It's wild. Why does my music keep cutting off? There we go. I do wish I could have done the universe automation using like pure AE. Because using item corners feels kind of cheap. But this is the most practical solution. Like, you could do it with pure AE, but it's just not like. It's not as scalable as item conduits. I guess actually, well, it's more scalable, but it's, it's 10 times more complex, so. Real point. Right now, I need a cable going through the middle here. And we have 60 cables, that should be enough. These are all in line, so I might just extend it a little bit and have like a decorative shell. Just so I can make like a smooth wall here later on with the screens. One more, I think. One more. Now the height. It goes up by one. Universal is so great, I'm glad I set it up. Nice. It's nice uh, seeing people use it. Although it is like it is really powerful and I like how it's available so much earlier compared to cribs. So like some people might even skip cri cribs for the most part because of how powerful Universal is. <laughs> Building mines is already in motion. It's all it never leaves me. Um uh, I need power. So let's see if we have a power converter or not. So two. I think I can just dump it here, and it actually should get power. Mm, there's no way to verify it though. Okay. Computer we can place here. And then we need all the components. EEPROM. We don't have an EEPROM, need to make one. Uh, I need OpenOS to install it. CPU, memory. Uh, what else? CPU. B. Ah, oh, hard drive. One. The from not gonna work. Need a uh, open computer's manual, which we can craft. Okay. Oh, manual, can you craft? What are the OC parts for? They are for automatically multiplying the patterns. Uh, okay, why is the manual not crafting? Assembler, ah, oh, it's stuck in the assembler hell. <laughs> uh, oh wait, they finished. No, I just some of them. I like how I just eats the book. Cool. Right, of course. Oh, of course, I need a rack and I need a server blade. Neither of which we have, and this is definitely going to need a solidifier. Uh, let's see if it works or not. B. 
it's kind of scary ordering these things while the thing is modifying the patterns. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> okay. I think I found one of the modified patterns. Uh, hmm. I might have to make the solid or extracting a bit faster. This is not going to be fast enough for this quick craft. Holy crap. <laughs> so dumb. We wanted to add more no normal storage. Although it doesn't seem to be a bottleneck on the pattern size right now, surprisingly enough. It seems to be. Oh, wait, no, it is. It definitely is. Never mind. Uh, it, hmm. Need one more computer. Actually. I think I can just grab the components here and use that computer to make the solidifier patterns, uh, the extractor patterns bigger, because that does not need a rack. I went way past. Uh, All right, what even is our extraction setup looking like? It looks like Cloud has upgraded this. Yeah, this should definitely be fast enough. It's just the patterns that are way too small. Uh, the patterns are stored in here. <laughs> it's thing 100k titanium boom uh ah damn the patterns are in uh, like a like a flat terminal or interface i think i right, they're here that doesn't work with oc so Is it easier to spend the blades directly from ingots instead of fluid extracting them and solidifying them? Um, I know I'm kind of not. So, because we have made our entire metal work section using fluid solidifiers, it means our capability of solidifying metals is like 10 times the bending capabilities. Which means it's overall faster to do this. Also, it means that we can store most of our fluids, or like metals, as a fluid form. Uh, which is super useful for like DTPF things and also um, IO Harmony things, which produce a lot of fluids. So we don't have to like convert them to ingots and then store them as ingots on a digital drive. We can just store them in a yellow tangle and just directly um, fluid solidify them. Also, it's way more TPS efficient to use fluid solidifying because it's like moving 1 million items is a lot more costly than moving a single fluid packet. Which can have like enough material uh, that replaces that one million uh, ingots. So, hello. I don't know. I don't know if I want to know. Well, I hope so. Uh, guess how big I just made my fluid solidifying patterns. Close. Two million ingots, three hundred million <laughs> liters of fluid. <laughs> I just uh, I saw that Cloud had upgraded our PAs to have humongous input hatches, and I'm like, hmm, I can change my code a little bit, and I made the maximum size it can have one billion, and the optimal ratio to be uh, zero point two five. So it tries to make everything as close as possible to two hundred fifty million of fluid. <laughs> Are you enjoying the grind of Garden of Grind? <laughs> Why did you decide to start that? Oh god. Why did they become so loud all of a sudden? There we go. I don't know, you just became like 10 times louder.
Definitely is. Okay, is this still going? Uh, what was I even crafting? Right, the servers. I finished. <laughs> All right, the solder. Mm. <laughs> Unfortunate. How are we out of interfaces? We ran out of ME interfaces! Fuck! I can't! We're out of nether quartz! <laughs> How are we out of nether quartz? What? Wait, I had the same problem earlier. We don't have a pattern for making nether quartz from the dust. Right, that's what I was supposed to check. Like, how big is this input hatch here? The control pool. That's tiny. Uh, maybe? There we go, a pattern. They are in a weird spot where Project Red Pipes are almost as powerful and earlier, uh, available earlier, so Logistics Pipes don't really have a spot. I thought it was the other way around. Oh. There we go. 100,000 ME interfaces coming right up. God, it doesn't craft them one at a time. Ouch, that doesn't sound very good. Huh. I need to use some super secret settings to make it look really nice. No. Relying too much on secret settings. I mean can work. Also, yes, I am streaming if you weren't aware. Ow. <laughs> ah, yes. The voice is in my head, I see. Hmm, I guess if this is enough for now. Oh, right, I forgot to re-add them um, after I switched back to Minecraft. I removed them for Factorio. Unfortunate. It is truly the tragedy of the times. Yeah, the progression is pretty funny in that mode. Well, not in a mode, it's just a challenge, I guess.
Yes. Any questions? <laughs> Eventually. Are you going to make it possible to just gate through that? What's the issue with it? Oh. Wait, but how did people get around that? Okay, I feel like I drank way too much water while I was in the gym. I just got to the bathroom again for like the third time in an hour. Goddamn. I'll be back in two minutes. I played GOG myself for like a week and then I gave up. <laughs> uh, LV? Actually, no, MV. We got to Ibia, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, it wasn't GOG. It was before GOG. Uh, it was the chicken start. Oh no. Hmm. Now what? You've tried everything and all out of ideas. I need a keyboard. We have exactly one keyboard. How convenient. Wait, this hard drive is from the auto crafting thing. Ha. Ah. Uh, okay. Now I need to go dig for some code. Is somewhere in here. Probably gonna be like nope. It is.
Now I do need to look at this code a little bit and because this is set up for um turning fluids into items, but I need to like revert it. So So this is the ratio here. We don't really care about this. Oh, the hell does this work? Uh... Yes. Actually, I, can, I think I can just move these on, uh, divide the ratio by basically one over itself, and that should give me the correct number I want. One. All right, um, let's try this with like one pattern Molten Mysterious Crystal. That sounds good. Ah, uh, right. I need a database. I forgot. Did I not connect it? Oh, I didn't connect the adapter. Genius. It's taking its sweet time. It's doing something. Oh. Ah. Uh, yeah, that worked. <laughs> I think I can probably make this a bit smaller. And now we just move every single pattern we have in here. Yes. How often do you need to do that though? Really? Yeah, but you only have to do it like once, I think. What? No, that's not what I have to do. Our fluid extraction recipes were still 64 parallel. What? How did we survive this long? I have now multiplied them by, uh, well, they take in 50k ingots now. I might be a bit better. Or they will soon. All right, that should be all. Now I click a run on this.
Um, how big are these becoming? A bit worried. I think somewhere. Oh, there we go. Oh, shit. No, abort. No. Oh, no. Ah, fuck. It broke like half of my patterns. Hey Phineas, do you see anything wrong with this pattern? Creates half a million drops of molten arsenic with 75 million arsenic ingots. <laughs> is anything wrong here? <laughs> It'll work, yeah! It just makes like, what, a hundred... Wait, how much? Like three ti 300 times more than it should. Something like that. Yeah, that doesn't sound very good. <clears throat> Mm. Right, uh, this needs to go here. I see my problem. I don't want to fix all of them. Beautiful. Uh, I did all of these. Uh, pain. I have to repattern them because it. Um, so it broke the ratios, which I used to calculate. So I have to repattern them so the ratios are correct again. Oh yeah, true. That is a possibility. I, I could do that, but it takes so long to run. I feel like, like maybe one third of them got uh, corrupted, so it's only faster for me to just uh, redo the ratios by hand. Do they have all ingots though? Mm. You know what? Sure, I'll, I'll try the automated way. Yes. Uh, it's stuck or what? Oh wait, I see the problem. I see the problem. Ah. Uh, oh, okay. I just crashed the server with open computers. Cool. <laughs> wait, what? Uh, it appears so. I don't know. Hmm.
Yep, looks like I need to restart the server. That's interesting. Open computer should be able to do that. How should I fix TPS? Um, you can delete your world and start a new one. That should fix your TPS pretty well. That is true. <laughs> Without that, well, you can close your server. That means you have infinite TPS. I mean, it's it like I I'm not. What am I supposed to say here? Like, just profile your server and fix your problems. There's no magic bullet, I can tell you. Throw money at the problem. Upgrade your server hardware. Delayed incident. You ask him A2 to the craft it for you. Fortunate. Right. Let's see if I can not break the server this time. Where have you been? Uh, other games. You played through Anno 1800 with Della now. Also played through XCOM, Long War. And also played. They are billions. So, yeah, just mostly lots of different games that I didn't want to stream. All right, let's see. Yes. It's a max of 100. Oh, I'd like what, what's the absolute maximum I'm going to get? 26? Yeah, that's what I was asking. All right. So are you saying the average is very small? <laughs> yeah, that I mean that sounds about right.
Yep. Welcome to university, I guess. Welcome to university. All right, let's see if I crash the damn thing again. This is my destiny. I didn't crash the server this time. We're safe. There we go. Now, the power with the power of automation, <laughs> I have reverted to ratios. Did you run the crash the server? This exact same code, except I had this loop here, um, not commented out, and I don't know why that crashed the thing. Anyways, it's running now, so now I just wait a little bit. I actually wanted this finish already. It did. Wait. So now if you look at the screw solidifying. Oh god. All of our screw wait. What? Why are half of our screws done in the solidifier and half of them are done in the lathe? Weird. What? Uh, huh? Why does endium screws take more endium to make another screw? Hold up. Yes, you could say they are screwed up. Ah. Uh. It's only the endium screw that's weird, and I, I don't know why that's that's like that. But I mean, it'll just make four times more than it should, which is fine. This thing makes seventeen million screws per pattern. <laughs> uh, late game, Greg. Gotta love it. Okay, this is almost done. And oh, it's still going, huh? And it's confused. I would said he would be joining in a bit two and a half hours ago. Beautiful. Left me. There you go. Now it's all done. Cloud. He said he would be joining like two and a half hours ago. Uh, okay, now we can uncomment this and ratio is gonna be So this is going to be 144 now. Now. Input needs to be smaller. Made into ratio. And this needs to be. Uh, But no, I need the multiplier, right? Multiplier here. And this is multiplied by the multiplier. There we go. Now, if I run this again, it should be seeing proper patterns. I'm running here. Ah. Uh, uh, abort.
Yes. Why did this break? So I already have the mask figured out. Um, I use the same code to do the fluid solidifiers, which all have different uh, like fluid amounts. So that's why I have the math figure out already. Well, Thomas, um, how do I fix these patterns? And damn it. Yes, I am aware. Uh, I managed to break and I managed to also stop it before I broke all of my patterns, which would have been very annoying. <laughs> Finally beat my first grand master level in Celeste. What is Celeste? I don't know the name. Is Never, I've never heard of that game. Hmm. Then again, I don't really play side scrollers that much. Uh, roguelite. I know it's just an adventure game. I see. Three hundred hours of gameplay in that game. Damn, I'm a good value. I still need to figure out why my code broke. Ah, true. It could be zero. It, oh, actually, no. No, no, no. It deleted it. Uh, hmm. I can try it with like a single pattern, I think. Uh, molten void. Yeah. At least you still have the input so you know what the pattern was. It would be super annoying if I, you couldn't see it. Did all the patterns break? <laughs> I guess that works. <laughs> Sounds fairly inefficient though. Okay, Molten Reinforced Cell. What the hell is Molten Reinforced anyways? That's a stupid name. <laughs> so dumb. Reinforced. That's the metal name. Ah, oh, yes. Actually, this uses dust. So I guess I could should keep it using dust. Purified Tengum dust. I didn't hear this. Okay, four more. Suddenly this became a debugging stream. <laughs> I was supposed to upgrade our DTPFs and I already like broke our thing making the Tesseracts and we don't make it anymore right now. Uh, I'm gonna forget and then it's gonna find out that we have no Tesseracts like a week later.
last one, and then I need to figure out why my code broke. So I think I'm just gonna grab like one interface and one adapter. Put them here for the time being. Got this database upgrade. Disconnect this wire. Up some random pattern, put it in there. And I guess I need to edit the code a little bit to see what happens. Okay, my visual studio code is being really unresponsive for some reason. Now, why did this break? I am pretty much. The only thing is the constant constant is calculator with math and the math I already ha had from copying from another another um code. So the only the only thing is that I had to swap swap the like the multiplier from being applied to the input instead of being applying to the output, and somehow I managed to break everything. Be that oh that might be the reason. Ah, um, right. I see. I removed the ratio calculation, so I tried to multiply it with not a number. Ah, okay. Let me just uh, just copy this entire thing. Paste it here, move it back to like four. Swap that. Then this ratio goes here. Now this should work. I need to reboot. I'm still is it invalid. Why? So the okay, the input looks fine now. This doesn't break. Uh right. So maybe the ratio is wrong. Let me print that. I think I'll extract the actually no I think I'll just melt this, never mind. Yeah. Alright, so is the ratio zero? What's the problem here? It's one hundred one four. What? I didn't change anything and now it works. Classic. Um, possibly. Try it again. Okay, um, I'm just gonna assume it works.
Okay, where is it modifying things? Nope, 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 it still broke specs. Ah, uh, why? And get it. Um, there might be some like metadata stuff going on here. I might have to repattern all of these. Uh, okay, let me grab this. Oh, actually, I need to make a test setup again. So, here we have like a machine created one ingot pattern. If I take this and make a human made pattern, if I run the code now, that's only one of them break. But if that's the case, I'm gonna have to repattern everything. Yeah, okay. I need to have to repattern everything by hand. That's actually not that tough, actually. Open computer is the most stable mod of all time. Mm. <laughs> Almost the same effort to just manually multiply everything, but uh, let's just use the code here. Now, do I have my compressed chests already? I made like a 10 of them. One, okay, that's true enough. Please reduce my render distance for this to get a bit more FPS. So much manual work when I just wanted to do everything using computers. Always make always make a macro for this, but I feel like that's a waste of time at this point. There's only six interfaces full.
hope I don't miss any. Well, I guess fixing them isn't that hard around the code. Shift clicking it. Oh, that's cool. If you shift, shift click the encode pattern, it goes directly to your inventory. I didn't know that. Hmm, I don't know if this already did, I think. Wait, that's like half done. A bit more. Ah yes, late game Greg, staring at an 82 terminal. A very interesting minigame. Not really. So they kind of con corrupted somehow, and now if you try to modify them using a, um, open computers, it just breaks the pattern. But if I re-encode it, like my hand, it somehow fixes the metadata or something. So they uh, work with computers again. Yeah. Then again, the entire thing was completely broken when I fixed the um, pattern multiplying thing through OC, so it looks like my fix still has some bugs in it. But at least it's usable. Like it was completely broken with fluid patterns. Be all. Let's toss everything in here. Oh, damn. missed a few. Wow. <laughs> Is Carax going to get the Stargate ever? The who? Is it catching up though? I feel like it's not. I mean, now that I'm back to playing again. Yeah. All right, please work now. Okay, it works. Good, finally. Ah, that took way longer than it should have taken. Okay, this is definitely going to need more drives here. Uh, I could probably move this while I'm at it. Like, 
I guess it should be directly under here. Why not? I harm you to OP for power is internally 12 trillion EU per tick. I know, we have four of them. And it's only OP in a vacuum, but if you consider that the Stargate costs what it costs, then it's actually not even that OP. Because you, you do need the power to. Did the server just crash again? Open computer finder like this. And how much generates power? Yes, it does. The highest tier does like 13 trillion EU per tick on average. Uh, why does open computers keep crashing my server? <laughs> Did throw an error. Eye of Harmony is, keeps throwing errors. Um, I don't know if I like that. Okay, service back up apparently. Hmm, weird. Okay, so did the program crash? It did. Um, it might actually be related to these empty interfaces. I think I might want to have... I oh, know the problem might be that the, the code starts looping over like an empty interface, so it has to check every single slot, and if it doesn't find anything, then it kind of takes too long to iterate over and crash the server. Possibly. I don't know. The code that handles the interfacing with interfaces is not the best. So, for example, it doesn't respect the non blocking nature of open computers, so it can actually stall the server by looks of it. It's weird, but I guess it's fine. Well, this part could use like a uh, pop part. Yeah, that works. I have a beam over here. I did.
Ah, I did it again. Why? <laughs> At least it fixes itself, I guess. It doesn't be too long without yielding problem. Oh, but ah, I've set it too long without yielding to be like 100 seconds, so now it just doesn't keep crashing, so that's why it kind of like crashed the server like so. Okay, well, I, it's still faster to wait 100 seconds than restart the server, so. Oh well. The reason behind you almost never typing the first letter of an item when you search for it in A2. Um, so there's this thing you start doing when you need to use A2 terminologies where you try to minimize the amount of finger travel when you type the uh, name. So, for example, let's say glass where you have to press L, which is on the right side of the keyboard while your hand is on the left. Uh, you can just do ASS, the end of the glass, and you don't have to move your hand at all. And this applies to a lot of the different names. So that's the reason, minimizing hand travel. Probably different keyboard layouts. Uh, I'm just using normal QWERTY. Uh, it's, it's a Nordic QWERTY, but it should be roughly the same. <laughs> it's just a single index finger to type. Well, uh, that wouldn't, wouldn't help at all for travel, uh, uh, the hand travel at least. So. Okay, let's see how many of these did it manage to do before crashing. Everybody uses quartz and it's used to it. Yeah, so there's some slight differences, of course. Might explain it. Uh, looks like it did like most of it. Ah, not all though. I can try adding some safeguards here. Maybe like we can check if the input max is not zero. That way it can never divide by zero. And then we probably need to check that the multiplier is also not zero. The current pattern. Pattern input. Okay, so this should skip if there is no pattern. Uh, 
Oh, I see the problem. Okay, so I just need to sleep over here. And that should mean it doesn't crash the entire thing. Aha. That's a simple mistake. All right, let's redo. Going on here. So I'm using an open computer script to multiply my fluid patterns for fluid extraction. extraction. I do the same thing for a lot of other machines as well. How do you use Nidus version 2 and how do I get it to show the numbers? Um, well, first you have to download the code and then implement the features you want. And then you have to, well, yeah, it's it's only in a useful state. Nidus 2.0 is very much still in the dev version, which doesn't really work. Please don't crash this time around. What? Oh! Right, so because it was already like it didn't have to change anything, it went like super fast. Ah, nice. And now it's stuck. At least it didn't crash the server this time. <laughs> but it doesn't seem to be doing anything either, so I don't know what's going on. Oh, there goes the server. <laughs> What the hell is crashing it? Like, there should be nothing that... Uh... Oh, it's actually... It might be this, maybe. Yeah? Go ahead. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. But I have to do this like 10 times more for all the uh, different machines. So figuring it out now is, is worth the time. Uh, that is, yeah. No, it was stuck at like Ori Horicon, I think. But it's probably gonna complain about too long without yielding, and I would like to know which line is doing that and how it prints it out. It does. Uh, it does not. So what the hell is the problem here? Oh! Hmm. Okay, so if input is a zero, this can actually run forever. So I actually have to check if ratio is not zero. Uh oh, <laughs> weeds. So this is probably the infinite loop. Actually, we can just do... This instead. All right, let's, let's let's try again. Uh, 
<laughs> nice. Okay, now it seems to be running. But I think we have like a few it might be skipping over. Oh yeah, so it had like it somehow thought that the output was zero. So that's what broke it. Right, it's finished running, so I need to find all of them. The probe like so. Or the offspring. There it is. That looks broken as well. Okay. Not too bad, it did like 99% of them. And there's another one. Alright. This we can just do manually now. How many times do I need to click this? Quite a few. The question is, can I even craft anything uh, after this? Or is it going to start complaining about needing half a million ingots for a pawn pattern? There we go. Finally. All right. What do we test this with? Uh, oh, we need to make the 10,000. What's the name? Dimensional bridges? Yeah. Nice. Okay, so this should be making lots of blocks of iron now. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> 16 fluid extractor PA is going at full speed. Except this one. Or it is missing the extractors. Uh, liquefying sucker is the name. UHV. Oh, there's exactly one stack. Nice. Bridges. It still feels low. I don't know. I mean, it's making like 30 million liters per second, but uh, it's probably fast enough, right? Like, we don't need to make this target in one hour. I can give it a few days to craft. No, on to the next battle link. I would really be surprised if 16 PAs for, full of UMV fluid extractor is going to be too slow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh man. In like two hundred thousand reinforced flasks per second. Wild. Is reinforced flasks slower to extract and ingots? Ah, yeah, it's EV recipe, and these are MV, I think. So this thing is going to disappear in like two seconds. 
I'm gonna see that. I'm gonna wait. Wait. It shut down. Why did you shut down? Oh, the Asus terminal didn't update fast enough. I see. It, it ate a half a million ingots and like, yeah. <laughs> One PA ate it with half a batch. So this thing can process like 16 million ingots at once. Holy. All right, uh, firebells. The environments are finished. So I can start modifying their patterns. Alright, my uh, render since it's two, two to six here. Seems to be mostly done. Yeah, it's like individual wires. So that doesn't break anything. Now I do need the rack here. Uh I can only have one side available to it. Probably has to go on the bottom side here. I just realized I have to format the hard drive to the normal computer. I don't have any CPUs. Uh, same deal with the GPUs, I think. Yeah, and well, that's the data card. That GPU. There it is. <laughs> Just order a hundred hundred GPUs. Wait, we ran out of crafting CPUs. Oh no. Okay, this Giga Chat token is doing nothing. So, goodbye. It's also stuck. Yep. Go check. Oh, I feel like I shut down the computer unless somebody rebooted it. Looks like it's somebody did, yeah. Now, this doesn't look very promising though. Uh, I can't uncheck the recipes to know if what's broken here. I just need to maybe click this with a wand. I don't know how magic works. Uh, I did nothing. So I have an actual wand, which I don't have. I'm just going to wait for Rubik's to come online, I guess. In the meanwhile, I'm going to add more crafting CPUs. We do still have quite a few spots available that have channels even, so very trivial to just add more. Don't make this area loads. Yep. I kind of hope we would have spare crafting storages, but apparently not. Okay. Uh, I cannot do the crafting CPUs because we don't have the crafting CPUs. Uh, I could add like tiny ones using these. But I don't know if that's able to craft anything at all with the new changes we did to this point of the fires. I guess this. Hmm. This looks dumb. 
I could salvage some crafting uh, storages from here, but that doesn't solve the problem of needing the CPUs or the co processing units. Okay, yeah, I really need to rework this area. So done with this overhanging ones. Maybe even add like one more layer going downwards. Oh, actually, does look kind of cool, I guess. Where would that even be? Oh, engraver sack. Are you even running? Yes, it is. It's really so slow. Well, it is running on UAV voltage. This thing is like one millionth of our power. Yeah, uh, do for an upgrade. Well, let's run this alive again. It indeed is. Even Lin and Rubik were playing yesterday. Love it. How <laughs> can this thing be so slow? This was overkill when I built it. Ah. Uh... If I had more wireless, I could probably upgrade it, but we have 160 and I need like 256 minimum, maybe even more. Actually just waiting for any of these to open up. Like some of the crafts are just bottlenecking each other so much. I wonder if the biovats are still running. I hope not. I will, we could repurpose this area. What are these doing? Hello? 160 nanoseconds doing absolutely jack shit. <laughs> what? There's no way using this little power is like useful at all. Young AR UX with IO Harmonies. We have four tier 9 IO Harmonies as Cloud was playing while we were taking a break. So there's been some progression going on, but now we need to start actually scaling up the infrastructure quite a lot. There's so much TPS we could save by just shutting down these obsolete machinery areas. I, I think this. Parts here is still also running. Uh, like it's not actually. Wait, it is. Mm. Ah, right. It's keeping these um, supplied. It's like pretty useless. Kind of a shame getting, having to get rid of this. I think I'm just going to like leave them not running. They are still areas you can visit. Oh, this is even running still. So, uh, what are you even making? Right. 
Rock growth catalyst. Oh, actually completely out. Um, but you can make that using the U of C, I think. Yeah. This does this does not need to be enabled. Machine controlled. Oh whatever, I'll just not touch it for now. Actually I if I stop these two, this will eventually shut down this entire plant. Go oh, look at the Eye of Harmony field while I wait for a single craft to finish so I can continue whatever I was doing. Random pillar. What are these random pillars here? Loading this area is just wild. Hey Phineas, are you still here? Oh no, he left. Never mind. He goes. These are still mostly empty, but this is where the Eye of Harmonies will go. I'd say it's the most decorated area for them. <laughs> really nice how it turned out. It's a little, it's a little unfinished, but it's still not there. Add some more neon in the um, little parts. Like I'm really happy with how this area looks. Where the deco? Uh, we made it with Dilano. And I she helped with the Eye of Harvey deco, but the hexagon grid pattern was made by me and uh, Dilano yesterday. Turned out really nice. Also, it, it just keeps on going. I don't have the minimap. <laughs> we added a few hexagons. Plan is to. Well, uh, we probably won't fill the entire thing with other harmonies, but I assume we need at least 60 or so. So we made space for about 100. But, like, this place looks so damn good from like at least. Like, there's this interesting pattern that emerges when you look at it from like ab above with the neon lines. It makes it feel really connected. I'm really happy with how this thing turned out. There's so many layers to it. There's a small control room on all of them. We'll have the automation eventually. But yeah, we decided to kind of go all out on this area as the Eye of Harmony is already crown jewel of the base. So. Hopefully this will get to the loading screen art. I mean, I, I'd be quite surprised if it doesn't. <laughs> it's Minecraft, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is Minecraft. It looks a little bit repetitive with the same design on each of them, so that's why we added the height variations to kind of try and uh, maybe it look a little bit more interesting. I think it works. Like, yeah, if you look at it from far and like really far away, then you can see the repetition, but like from down here, it's really hard to tell. Really good. So reflective and shiny and futuristic. Probably one of my favorite areas in the base. Anyways, uh, has any of my crafts finished yet? No. Uh, one CPU finished. Uh, but it's all stuck behind the laser engraver right now, I think. I could cancel this, as it's going to be stuck forever. Yeah. There was something else I needed from the open computers. Um, I need more database upgrades, that's for sure. Everything else should be fine. 
Ah, keyboards. Oh, but I don't have a crafting CPU left. What are these even stuck behind? I'm almost done by the looks of it. Bed rocking bolts. Ah, I think this broke while I was doing the pattern changes. Yeah, this is gonna be broken. Unfortunate. I can cancel them, I guess. What is this waiting on? Are these waiting on a DTPF, I think? You should be doing with Rocky on a DTPF, so. Yeah. Ah, it's stuck behind the damn. You got your token. <sighs> so. This kind of needs to be a quad hatch. I think I can just empty it for now and that should fix it temporarily. Yes, no. Uh, my fucking one is not enabled. Oh, there you go. Okay, yeah, I heard the thing turning on now. How much space time do we have? Holy shit! I have farm is making a lot of space. <laughs> what the hell? I now have a lot of spare CPUs available again, which means I should order more crafting CPUs while I still remember, so we don't deadlock ourselves again. What oh, processor we seem to have? I'm uh, coming a few more. Starting to feel our circuit processing infra is going to be the next bottleneck. Uh, what's bottlenecking this though? Circuits, of course. I think I'm going to reorder these. That's a lot of bedrock here. Ah, I see why. Yeah, so it's the new solidifier things we did. So it, it wants to make two different recipes using bedrock here. And that needs two times 300 million. <laughs> that shouldn't be a problem though. The DTPF is pretty fast in processing it. Can I pump more power into it? Uh, what's the backbone here? E oh, you will be one million. I could pump more power, I guess, but not that much more. I'd have to, yeah, I'm gonna have to upgrade this entire backbone to like UMV one million. Um, we can do UV 256. What would be the equivalent in uh, UMV? Let's see. UV 256k would be 130 million, which is 
You know, that can't be right. Let's just 8 billion right now. It's three tiers above. So the backbone is 88. Oh, wait, no. It has to be more. How much is this? Ah, uh, I can't do math. This is fifth. Wait. Okay, I'm just going to bring out a calculator. I kind of do math today. Okay, it's 500 billion. Uh, 256 AUMV is 3 billion. So we can do that. I'm going to do 1K UMV if you have that. Wireless? I. Oh, wait. I don't even know if this. I, I, I guess this can take wireless. Let me see if you have some high amp wireless. We do. But we only have 64 amps. So. If I if you have 1k UMV hatch, then that's gonna be even better. Which we should, should have. Uh, UHV UMV. Okay. Turn this off for the time being. You should be off as well. We can turn you off. Ah, oh, wait, is this one running though? No, it's not even built. Source, target, I need a spray can. It should run. Bonk. Here we go, four times faster. This takes like five minutes to do the 600 million bedrockian, which is still kind of slow, but it's good enough for now. Helping my New Horizons objections, this party isn't streaming much right now. <laughs> I think party is on vacation for like two weeks. I think I heard that on the stream, so that might be why he isn't streaming as much. All right. Um, is this waiting on? Ah, it's stuck behind the superconductors, I would assume. That reminds me I have to do the same thing with the process, which actually might be, oh, but the process are going to be a pain because there's so many different recipes. There's no like real algorithmic way of multiplying it, except if I just give it like multiply by four or something. Hmm. I guess I can make, a, make it so that if it uses fluids, then, um, Multiply it until it's like 1 million fluid because the fluids are what, what bottlenecks the system. Oh, actually, wait. This isn't even bottlenecked by anything. So, what? Why are the hard drives not crafting? Uh. Huh? Uh, because the goddamn ah, the pattern is in the wrong interface. There we go. It made one. What? Uh, 
Oh, that was the platters themselves. And now I remove the... Wait, no, never mind. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, I'm pretty sure it had enough to make 10 of them. Oh, it did make... Wait, what? Okay, I'm just confusing myself now. Uh... This makes hard rush, right? Yes, it does. Makes 10. Oh, hey, that's Rubix. Maybe he will come to voice chat soon. Hello. Hi. Um, your infusion got stuck. I canceled the craft. Your infusion. We were trying to make like some solar panels, maybe. It's really, really slow. Five hours per recipe. Oh, huh. <laughs> yeah, okay, I can see why it might be slow, but no, it, it was definitely stuck because it did not move a single thing in five hours. So. No, because we didn't have an input hatch that was big enough. Yeah, um, I had to actually get rid of the Gigachat token because it was completely bottlenecking our bedrock in production. Also, the thing barely... Wait, you tried to make the Gigachat in a DTPF that was getting 8 billion EU. So the recipe would have taken... 24 hours to finish. And I'm glad it didn't go. It's really funny how cheap the Giga Chat token is at this point. <laughs> it's almost free. There's so much space time. Um, I think I'm going to need a, co a creative component bus here. I have so many interfaces I have to go through. Oh, also, I did some open computers magic to our fluid solidifiers and fluid extractors. And now if you try to order anything, you might notice it asking for like 300 million of all the modern fluids. Uh, I might have multiplied patterns a little bit on our fluid solidifiers. Uh, I guess you can try ordering like I guess like one iron screw or something. Oh, I did this many in a lathe. Uh, let's try a gear, I guess. Any any gear. <laughs> I realized that Cloud had upgraded these solidifiers to have humongous hatches, which have 2 billion capacity. So I just gave my scripts a uh, maximum amount 1 billion and told it to go.
Also, I then I realized that our fluid extractors still had 64 times like multiplication on the patterns, which is like f absolutely not enough. So it was using maybe one fifth of a single extractor every now and then. We have 16 of them. So I multiplied those, and I, it does 70 million per uh, pattern of the fluid. So yeah, uh, that shouldn't be a bowling for a while now. Do list. Mm, oh wow! Okay, it's already eight p.m. I really need to eat. Goddamn. Ah, uh, where should I stand? Guess I can watch uh, one of these crafts. Be the most interesting one. And I guess. Oh, yeah, because we had to run, run a QFT and you really need that. It's really easy to make, though. Anyways, I need to get some eat, so something to eat, so I'll be back in like 10 minutes or so. Uh, I guess you can open my stream and interface chat if you want. <laughs> To Stargate.
staring at these crystals really being made, I'm starting to feel like they are a bottleneck right now. <laughs> then again, that's also a really easy fix. Um, they are still running like UVV voltage on the calls, so just swapping those to use UOV wireless like, already makes them 64 times faster. Right, I should really work on the DTPFs now before we complete the renown of Tesseract. Do that. Mm. Oh, you do need resplendent colors for this. That's a bit annoying. And I do need a third DTP as well. I wonder if I can just steal a controller from somewhere. Are these hypertrain calls aren't even in use anymore. It looks like it. This used to make. What? Oh. Uh... Part of the auto crafting by the looks of it. And there we go. Yeah, but we can just yeah, all of this actually can be reused now as it will be passive. I guess I can just yoink this controller for now. Oh yes, thank you, FOV. Well, yep, the right amount. Hello, Diddy. I am back to streaming. Actually, while you're here, I just can show you my, uh, or well, our I of Harmony fields that we made yesterday. Right now they're still empty, but there's space for like a hundred eye of harmonies here. Ah, an area. <laughs> I like the animation, like the fake animation we made inside them. It's way more performant than the actual one. It doesn't look as great, but like it's just such an FPS killer having it enabled, so. I really like the terraced look here. Pretty cool. And also, it looks really nice from above as well, with the kind of circuit lines. <laughs> Try building this without world in it, so oh boy. Yeah, not happening. Also, if you look at it hard enough, you might notice that it's actually not centered. Because, yeah, the hexagons have to be even, but the Eye of Harmony is odd, so... It's really hard to tell, though. But yeah, now we need to fill this entire thing with Tier 9 Eye of Harmony, so it's gonna be fun. We have four here. We move those. Uh, are these running? Yes, they are.
We're gonna pass this setup. Uh, right now it's using the one made by Cloud as he built this. And I am going to rework mine sooner than later. But I can show you the initial one I made that I will be also kind of modifying for the tier 9s. We have one. Oh, we still have the crude Eye of Harmony running uh, over at our fusion area. Where did my Nidus go? It's still there, but it's weird. Oh. Ah. Uh. Game. <laughs> um. Okay. Right, so this is all you need, pretty much. So we have the activity detector cover facing here, and it powers this one single redstone cable, which then toggles these two export buses, and they are exporting these one billion packets we passively stock. So every time the thing um, cycles, it allows a single packet to enter here, which then starts emptying into these input hashes here. And because this can only hold one item, it can only export one before it's toggled back. Um, so it cannot export anymore. And then that just repeats after every cycle. It's going to be changed to show the percentage when it's wireless enabled. No, this is still showing our non wireless. Yeah, this number here I custom added to my screen that shows our wireless charge. But I might want to rework the NIDAS uh, display, wireless display a little bit, now that we're using it uh, ourselves as well. But yeah, uh, this is still showing the non-wireless network for the most part. But yeah, this is like pretty much what you need. Pretty compact. Now the only problem with scaling this up to 8 billion is that the packets can only be 2.14 billion in size. So you essentially need four packets to feed them. And my idea was to use four packet decoders on each side. Um, and that should actually, it might be possible to use like a drawer. Uh, I need to try a few things. But yeah, like this, I really like how compact this is for the most part. All right, back to making DTPFs. Oh, also, <laughs> he just missed it by it. Uh, I noticed our fluid fluid extracting being a bit slow. The patterns were like 64 times, so super small. So I tossed some code at it, and now the patterns are, well, <laughs> yeah. Half a million ingots per pattern. That shouldn't be bottlenecking anymore. Uh, same deal here with the... Hmm? <laughs> yeah, then you can just manually make it smaller. But yeah, um, all of our fluid solidifying patterns now need 300 million of the fluid. <laughs> so dumb. It's 42 million. Wait, no, that's 4.2 million palladium rows at once. Uh, that's going to clog our A2 system so hard, though. I feel like we're going to need more um, storage drives. Hmm. Here we do. I just added what? Huh. I swear I added a molten void recipe though. And not. It might have been corrupted as well. Yeah, we do have a multi void recipe, so I don't know what's up. Oh, yeah, it, it's trying to use the wrong void metal ingot. That's the problem. Huh. 
Oh, you can just you can just extract the void dust. Huh. That's very more convenient. There you go. Now you can do avoid dust. Ah, uh, avoid rods if you need. <laughs> what do you mean? It only made 16,000. That's not an obscene number. Nope. Oh, hey, actually, now that I'm switching to quantum anomalies, it means I can get rid of this goddamn this only level maintainer we have. Level maintainers, who would use them ever? Did I just... Uh-oh. Ooh. Uh... Primordial pearls, how many more? Well, yeah, you just dump them around vault accelerators and that's it. Yes. Uh, you can probably make like a chess board out of them, if you want more of them. Yeah. Hey, it's Cloud. <laughs> ah, yes. The only reasonable option. Oh no. Please don't. Oh no. That is somewhere, I guess. <laughs> Hello? It is. You see the I see the eye of harmony fields. <laughs> yeah, no, we need to start failing them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there should be about a hundred spots for them, and I guess we don't need that many with your changes. They at parallels, right? How many do you think we will need? Like 10? Okay. Also, ha did, you, did you notice the fluid extracting being kind of slow? Yeah, so so most of the patterns were 64 times. Um, you can take a look at, that, at them now. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> um, you can also check all the fluid solidifier recipes because I noticed you started using humongous hatches on them. Yeah, so I might have run the script again and it made some funny results. <laughs> Oh, um, yeah, I just fly everywhere. That seems to help. Hmm, we need way more Duranium. Is there any point adding a Mark V for it? Or just do it like a Mark IV? Mark III, maybe? Do we have a spare Mark IV?
Yeah, uh, I'm gonna completely automate and passive like Tesseract and uh, Transcendent Metal. So I need, uh, I think Duranium is the only part I have to actually make right now. Everything else we have passive. Actually, do we have unknown particles? Hmm. Can we just make a QFT for that though? Yeah, probably the easiest thing to do. As soon as I'm done with my finals, I'm starting on my New Horizons B guide YouTube series that people have asked me to make. B guide? Hmm. That won't get me to do Bs though. I will never touch them. Do we actually have a crop guide kind of like that? I don't think we do. Need both. What's in the video form though? Yeah. Uh actually this are these even running? I think I have to use one of these mark trees. Oh, that's nice. I assume these Mark Fives are doing metastable organisms still. Did you add more though? Oh. Okay, a lot of these seem to be incomplete structure for some reason. Ah, uh, they probably don't have energy hatches on them. Yeah. Okay. Are none of these are actually running? Huh. Uh, okay, I, let's see, how much does this make? It's a Mark 1 recipe, so it's going to be pretty damn fast, and I only need 144 for one, for one quantum anomaly, and I need two quantum anomalies for, yeah, one DDPF should be, uh, one fusion should be fast enough. Now, what kind of energy hatches did this need? <laughs> Completely forgotten. I'm claiming that I'm the foremost New Horizons B expert on Twitch. <laughs> okay, on Twitch is a good thing to add. Uh, well, I just used 200 of them to upgrade the wire mills. That's not very mega slow. Oh, uh, yeah, I also switched the automation to have individual in the chests. Yeah, I've been upgrading aut automation quite a lot. Oh, I think most of them are uh, HP. I oh, know, maybe 60 million. At least the new ones. Oh, yeah, that might be a problem. And also, I want to switch the Eye of Harmony automation to USD, like similar thing I did with the crude one. Yeah. Oh, wait, really? Oh, wow, okay. Uh, that sounds very simple. <laughs> that shouldn't be a problem. How am I gonna find these interior energy ashes? Oh man. I guess they're here. Yeah. Wait, why is there a single casing missing, huh? What? 
This must be from copy pasting. I don't see any other reason why this would be missing energy hashes here uh, in uh, casings. Hmm, so what's gonna be the main main bottleneck between us and Stargate right now? Is it the university? No. No. Yes. Cloud muted install. I don't even know if I'm placing these in the wrong uh, right spots. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> hey, you have to consider that Cloud has been here for like two months without adding a single one. So. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, complete structure still. Hello? What is this? Balls aren't alive? Oh? Oh. <laughs> Lemonies must be obtained. Good, I'm upgrading auto crafting. <laughs> Unfortunate. Yes. Where do I even have my output hatch? Uh Wait, I'm. Yeah. Why didn't you do it, huh? Feel issue or something? Just move closer, easy. It kind of optimizes the root your packets tag, I think. <laughs> Sorry, I stole them. Uh, why is this not getting anything? Oh, there it is. Radon and Gallium. Actually, Gallium might not even be in this subnet. Yeah. It's in the... Hmm. 
Oh, I just crashed A. Oops. Using all your for power now? Yeah, we have four of them, so that makes like 50 trillion. So the NAC really is completely irrelevant. I connected two subnets. We actually not have molten gallium here? Hold up. Actually don't have molten gallium. Ah, uh, pain. Okay. Guess I need to add a completely new spot for that. The question is, do we have a Yota tank free? If you don't, I guess it's build one. Uh, I would say one or two months. It's you know, it's primarily gated by the Eye of Harmony time. Like you're not like auto crafting, we can just keep pumping more and more, so it's faster and faster. Uh, but the universe is going to be a big gate, especially because we are not abusing the uh, sub one text thing. Yeah, I guess the parallel does help. So, and I saw some calculations that with a single single one, it's going to be two weeks for the university, or was it like thirty five days or something like that? Not sure, but it's still like it's pretty long. But yeah, yeah, we got the parallel. Okay, uh, this seems to be yeah, this one free. Like we have fluid fluid cell block tier nines. Oh, okay. That's, that's a ridiculous amount of zeros. <laughs> uh, I guess I can just use tier one, tier four. Yeah. No real point using anything bigger than that's for gallium. Are you using tier 10 in Yota tanks? Ah, yes, because I love having Yota tanks that are 0.000001% filled. Very good use of our resources. Never fill. That's not even that much. We have 251 trillion liters of oxygen gas. <laughs> Not with that attitude. Wait, but where is it storing it? Is it void cells? Wait. Oh. I like how I just randomly find a single machine among a line of laser powered machines with a wireless hatch because Cloud was too lazy to upgrade to laser. Wait, so, Cloud, can you explain this one single U1V wireless energy hatch? This is like two amps, when the other thing is powered by 256 amps of UHV, which is like, is it the same way? This, how much is that?
Yeah, that's, that's so you're reducing the amount of power it's getting by upgrading the, the wireless hatch. Why? Yeah, but why did it change the things to you on the wireless energy hatch when you reduce the amount of energy it's getting? Ah, uh, maybe. <laughs> I like, really love your wireless hashes. <laughs> okay. Meanwhile, I'm still trying to use laser wherever possible. That's the point. Yes, that's why I play this game. Can we still not make the multi amp patches? That's way too many. Ugh. Oh, <laughs> so when are PA is getting removed? <laughs> Man, that thing was so premature, goddamn. Actually, this can this even run this? Can yeah. Yeah. Oh, I probably should have checked that this thing has enough channels. Uh, yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, yeah, um, but that's because I wanted to save on the laser hatches, but if you're just using wireless, then yeah, you can just have it on the front. Or I mm -hmm. Yes, we do. It's just not hooked up. We still have over 200 uh, free, free spaces, so. Yeah. No, we just didn't hook up all of them as we had like no need for 500 spaces. How is this thing even running? Like this one wireless connector had over 70 channels connected to it. Maybe even more. I I, I don't know. I, <laughs> I feel like somebody removed my wireless here. I don't see any other way this could have happened. It still has way too many. What? Oh no, wait, hold up. This can't be right. It's not updating. Okay. Uh this update. Hello. I'm going to start manually counting this. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, so I can go way higher there. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twelve. Uh, 25. I can probably cut it here then. I 
I'd buy the day. Hopefully I'll see your Eye of Harmony soon. <laughs> right, uh, where should I add more? I guess I need to add a completely new area for it. Yeah, I don't see like any spot where I can... Oh, actually this one. Bonk. Actually there's way more. Huh. I still should add more. Oh well. I have more important matters right now. I already lost where I was doing my thing. Here? Yeah. These are full of gallium. Here we go. Actually, how many gallium dust do we have? 26 billion. Yeah, I think we can afford to solid, uh, fully extract a few of them. <laughs> Yeah, it's so dumb. I know just be like a half a trillion make make stone dust. Like what? Yeah. Maybe we should just make all a ridiculous setup that uses all of it. Processes it into actually, what does it even make? It makes volume. <laughs> oh man. I wouldn't even like realistically process 500 billion of our stone dust. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> the box would get rid of it. Gallium. Um, oh, I forgot to enable the other tank. Ugh. Oh, right. <laughs> I also, how much are we still relying on the Mega Knack line? Because I realized the entire thing is completely clogged on the drives. I think we just need to make a dump like a hundred digital singularities in there. It wasn't enough. Yeah, but are we still relying on it? Like, what can we not get from my apartment? Is the main point here. Even like in a quadruple? We do have 1 billion Nakwateria ingots, but only 27 million Nakwateria dust. I don't think we're getting a Quateria from Iron Harmonies. Oh, that's Nak. Oh, ah, I see. Nakwateria. Oh, so I guess we're just smelting it passively somewhere then. Okay, makes sense. What about Enriched Nakura? I'm not seeing any of that. Oh, I agree. That seems to be fine. What's the magic area look these days? Uh, I can let me set this up first. Before I forget, I can go fly through it. I actually don't know when you've last seen it. Like, have you ever seen any of the new base? What counts as high storage priority? Oh, I'm at 1000. Oops. Yeah, uh, another, another good idea. I need some clicking to do that. Oh, I've. Then I proceed to <laughs> promptly replace the Yota hatch to avoid the bug. 
Uh, uh, two hundred would be fine. Let's just reactivate this. There we go. All right, let's go fly to the magic area. There's a few buildings, so I haven't looked, or I don't usually stay there that much. So this is kind of how it transitions in the magic area. Uh, I need more in the distance. And this comes to the blood altar. Also houses the EECs we have. I have no idea how big or what tier this altar is. It's a bit pretty high here, though. It's a pretty cool building, though. And around here, we have the entrance to our node room, which is still lacking the node, which is pretty funny, if you ask me. Oh, yeah, well, then you see this, I guess. Yeah, this is where the node would be if we had one, I guess. Man, we need to get G back to playing. So we can do some magic. <laughs> Round up our magic things. Yeah. Um, what else would we have? Uh, I guess we have the sword building, but yeah, that's the same as three months ago. But yeah, nothing new on the magic front really, as only G has been doing that really, and he hasn't been playing. This tower doesn't want to load. Um, so are our Eye of Harmony is tier 9, like fully? So does that mean we can auto-build them? Good, that makes filling our um, decorations a lot easier. <laughs> yeah. And I guess wait 24 hours for auto crafting to make the parts. I actually logged in as I was like, are these crafts stuck? Why are these not going like down? And then I checked the AALs. <laughs> uh, I calculated it's like five hours to get one out of it. I mean, it, it does make 32 at a time. So like the, uh, the single time overall isn't that big. But I was thinking that we can just multiply the pattern like four times and it just straight up translates to a four, four times faster production because of the parallelization. Yeah. Yeah. Also, have the ALs been working fine for you? Or have you had any problems with them? Oh. Um. So it should be disable automatic restarts, maybe? I forgot how good this place looked. Yeah. Well, we can really easily restart it when we like see TPS kind of going down. So it shouldn't be that big of a problem, and that's much better than um like Golly for anything's voiding, and we have us having to unstuck the ALs as it gets really old real fast. Oh, this should be able to be turned on now. Oh, it's already like that. Uh... Yeah, I actually yeah, I turned off some of the BioAd stuff. That's why is that even running? There was a ZPM LCR making sulfuric acid. I was like, what? Why is this here? <laughs> oh wait. 
I was wondering why my uh, compact wasn't working, but then I realized I don't, I'm not giving it any power. That might explain some things. Active transformer. Oh, we have three of them. Also, we ran out of ME interfaces earlier today, so I just ordered hundreds of thousands of them. <laughs> Oh, man, this late game, Greg. Just run out of something, just open it up, type it in AE, just type some zeros, doesn't even matter how it is, just press enter. <laughs> Was that bad? Uh, did you find my, like, the thing that I used to fill the cells with the uh, circuits? Oh, okay. I mean... <laughs> oh, yeah, that's why I made it the automated thing to do that. <laughs> yeah, true. I mean, you could just ask me. Like, I, I am permanently online. Yeah, I would just assume that I would do the the thing manually as well. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so my setup, you can just toss in 20 of each and it just makes them and then just extract them with a the filter. It's still some work, but it's like it's a lot faster doing it that way. And I, I, I like working with lasers. Why does that kind of soulless? Yeah, but for like, for example, the mega EPF area where we already have a super high voltage line and we can easily upgrade it like six times parallel. I, I don't see any point powering the megas with, um, with wireless. Yeah, I'd, you have to realize that the entire base is planned around laser lines. So we have a laser line absolutely everywhere. It's just like... It, at most, it's like two ATs away, but like that's still effort, I guess. So, true. Uh, I am going to do like a kind of a entire pass through the laser grid, so uh, all areas get at least one hundred thirty-one trillion. Oh, I think only the west area is at one million UMV amps right now. So I want to do all kind all of the backbone areas to be one million amps UMV. As now like UMV components are basically free with the amount of space time we have so no I refuse to do that. I refuse. I that's I I hate the mini LSCs. It's just such a stupid idea. I hate it so much. Short energy zero. I don't know if I like that or not. Uh, it seems to be running permanently though, so... Are we getting gallium? <laughs> the... Oh, duranium. Yes, this should be fast enough.
I don't know, they, like using the mini LSC, it, has just, it means you can put things anywhere, and that just takes away from all the planning we've done with this base, I feel. Yeah. Uh, I think, like, realistically, we can do about six times parallel on the. Actually, maybe five times parallel on the laser. So that's how much? Like 700 trillion EU per tick. If we need more than that for any individual thing, then yeah, go ahead and just like use wireless. That's the. Yeah, the. Uh, I, we could switch to UXV 1 million amps, but that's just so ridiculously expensive that. Yeah. Yeah. Right, now in the QFT, I assume we don't have a spare quantum, quantum force transformer. Uh, we do have the controllers though, but do we have the coils? Baseline continuum ripples. We don't. I actually don't need a high tier one though. Um, nice. That was the name for this. Uh, pulse manipulator. Huh. Yeah, but I only need a tier three. Crap. Okay, we don't have a tier three, so I guess I'm gonna make, make me some space time continuum repairs then. Like 300. Just order them. Ah, true. I, I just love how snappy the A2 is with the massive parallel sizes. Like it just it instantly calculates everything because it's so few patterns it has to do. So nice. Hmm. How bad is A2 looking overall when I haven't been cleaning it for two months? Looking pretty bad. I might have to do a cleaning operation. Ooh, the loot bags, they're tasty. I want to toss them away. <laughs> no. Uh, we have a QFT that's not running. That's doing... What this be doing? I guess that's pretty important then. Hmm. What about this side DTPF, like the last one you've added? It doesn't seem to have anything hooked up to it. Oh, it, it's running every now and then. Uh, oh, it's the agar. Oh, I just turned that off. Oops. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I I turned it off by disabling the fisheries, which will like eventually turn it off. Yeah, I'm out. Just... <laughs> ah, thank you. <laughs> I know it's. Yeah, it is. It was really fast when I made it. <laughs> Yeah, like considering it's still supplying us like fairly well, I guess so. The Zuhais are running at one amp of UHV, like what? <laughs> but yeah, it definitely needs to be redone. I think we only need the Agar from it. Oh yeah. Yeah, but so like over half of it you can just take it. I can get rid of. I guess we can keep the bio ads there as like Decoration. Oh yeah, but I do have to get rid of the machine control covers on them because they are super laggy actually. I'm gonna do that now, why not? Wait, is it like two thousand nanoseconds load? Uh where is this? anyway I can make it less. Maybe 
Take them off helps. Yeah, I guess like, if there's 16 of, actually no, there's 32 of them, so that's 64,000 nanoseconds for like basically decoration. Ah, uh, yeah, ah, it's fine. Those actually don't tick. They only beep when they're running, but uh, if there is, if it's not running, they won't beep. So because the way I made the microcontrollers is that they are cycled by the output hash getting put into it. So as long as the biovats are completely off, then the controllers won't beep. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Flavio. This is assuming your gender. <laughs> uh, so we have 1.5k un unknown particles now. for now. I could just use the buffer we have until we get the under force transformer for them. Oh. Hmm. Is there actually any use for the protons and electrons, or does this void them? Nice. <laughs> so I actually just void them. Cool. Uh, I wanted to order some more uh, quantum force transformer stuff, like force. Wait. I never remember the name for the glass. Force field glass, there we go. Matching, looking how many you need. Just like put 1000 and it'll get crafted eventually. <laughs> Space time bending core. We don't even have space time bending cores, I don't think. Oh, we don't, never mind. Oh, uh. <laughs> I might have found a problem. <laughs> if, <laughs> if you try to order anything that's made out of sugar balls, <laughs> you might run into an issue. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, um, if you want to make like a single hydrogen plate, it tries to make two million of them. <laughs> I feel like I might have to add shrub onto my list of things to not, um, not have that high. That's very easy though. Uh, I did. All right, I made sure I want an university and be less expensive. Is there anything else I should add here to the list? Oh, it's already on the list. Okay, well, it's pretty quick to run this, so actually, it's oh, it takes like an hour, but I, that's relatively quick, so I can just change it every day if needed. Oh, actually, that's mega fast. Oh. Uh, dwarf matters as well. But yeah, actually, running this is pretty fast when you only have to edit a few of them, as it's kind of like almost completely skip the, uh, the like correct ones. I can probably like if you want, I can show you how to add things to the list. Yeah, how to destroy solidifying building. Let's 
fly here. <laughs> I usually just use minimap to fly. <laughs> and it's odd. Right. It's still kind of running. I guess I can just shut it down. Oh, yeah, let me just cancel it if I can. Like, apparently, I can't. Well, right now, because it's skipping like half of them, it doesn't take that long. It took 40 minutes to do all of them. Because it has to edit every single one, and the editing thing is rage limited to like one operation every half a second. So. Yeah, so that, every time it finds the thing in its edit, you can see that it stalls while it's editing it, and it just goes fast again. Extra dish. <laughs> no, the, the multiplied by is okay. There we go. So let me just reboot. I, just, I don't need to reboot. So it's very simple. You just uh, edit the patterns that were, and then you see this list here: the local expensive fluids. Yeah. So you just add the like the base name of it. Uh, getting the base name might be a bit annoying. But usually it's really like very clear. For example, dwarf matter is. I don't know what the dwarf matter might be. Can I see if you do press uh, the advanced item tooltips? Maybe. Yeah, it's yeah dwarf. Yeah, it's just dwarf matter is good enough. So it basically uses re re rechecks, re rechecks. Yeah. So to match, and if if the match is high enough, then it should be excluded. So it doesn't have to be like exact. So white dwarf has one. Uh, what else do you have? A uh, white. Oh uh, yeah, black dwarf. I guess actually we can just do dwarf matter and I'll do both. Is there anything else? Um. Yeah, that's good. But that's terribly slow. I think to solidify. I guess. Um. But we only do want to do like some of them. That would be the UOV superconductor. Superconductor UOV base. I guess we can just do UOV base. What else? Ah, UXV base? Is that a thing? UIV and. Uh, yeah, UIV is pretty fast, I think. I'm going to make it in larger amounts. Uh, I guess I can just add the UV as well. I mean, it's like it's not gonna be that much slower. All right, I'll run this once more. Oh, right. Uh, then, then you just run the script. So just type patterns and it'll start running it. And it'll do its thing. You don't have to babysit it. Yeah. Yes, it will revert. So it gets like it gets a ratio, and if the if it's on the list, then it will basically revert it to I think sixty four times multiplication. Yeah. And you can also modify the multiplication amount uh, if you want. It. There should be a variable for it. Let me check. Yeah, there's a minimum size, so it's uh, at the top above the expensive fluids. And uh, that just tells you what the like the default size is if you don't want it to be uh, multiplied.
And I, I'm going to add a similar system for all of the machines, so we can easily like modify the parameters as we need. Yeah, I was going to do the same for wireless next, but I I'm like four things deep and making this damn DTPF for the Tesseract. So. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I still need the unknown particles, but I guess for now I can just use what we have. Also, did you notice the did you notice the new space uh, elevator cable I we did with Elena in the middle of the main towers? <laughs> I think it's kind of cool. Unfortunately, it kind of cuts out at the top to the uh, height limit, but but it is. <laughs> right, let me go extract those unknown particles from the cyclotrons that have been there for from like UV or something. <laughs> I remember that. I got rid of that though. Oh, we only have three cyclotrons. I remember we had way more. So what's the uptime on this? These are running on one amp of UV. What? Total times is built 14 weeks, 6 days. That's pretty old. Um... 33,000 unknown particles? <laughs> what? <laughs> you never decided this is who came up with the actual network, you just keep taking it to manually? Oh man. I mean, I, I, I guess I'll just continue. We're replacing it anyway with a QFT, so. That's pretty funny that this one single UV ZPM or Cyclotron setup is. Producing so many. Uh, well, it's not even that many. It's just like it's running twenty four seven. So, all right. Yeah, so that's why I want to make a QFT for it. So many unfinished buildings everywhere I go. We're gonna have to do like uh, a pass over the whole base with Delano to finish up all the buildings so it's presentable. All right, I can finally do the EDPF part. How did we get 1.4k quantum anomalies? Huh? I get zero last I checked. Now, what kind of power do I need to give this? I need like one every five seconds or so. So UV will be eight mil. Oh, okay. Never mind. I can just give whatever, and it's gonna be fast enough. Yeah, I was like, okay, let's give it two, five, six amps of UMV, and I'm like, yeah, that's thirty-four million. So that's gonna be fifteen seconds per recipe. Oh, wait, it's billion. Oops, that's 1,000 times more than I need. <laughs> yeah, uh, let's try maybe UEV. should not be powering anything right now, so I can just get rid of that.
right. So I need now need two input hatches, one stocking hat, or stocking bus, and one output. Also, is this stocking hatch already a thing? I'm just keeping up. How powerful is it? It's going to really revolutionize everything. <laughs> uh, so where, where did it end up being gated? So roughly the same as the rip. Actually, no, that's earlier than the prim. But that thing just actually does it trivialize the universal automation? Uh, you kind of do because yeah. Yeah, <laughs> time to add those. <laughs> Call them universal cells, meant to be used for universal automation. Yeah, let's just <laughs> make the gameplay itself. Now, what I would like to see is, is this talking hatch better than P2P, like, performance-wise? I would guess not. Yeah. Ooh, that's nice. How far is the outer pole? Oh. That does actually kind of nerf the universal automation. Did I actually... Wait. I just crashed the AE system again. Uh huh? This has to be going to the mainnet, right? Yeah. Uh, wait. How did that crash it? Yeah, but I don't know how. Okay, I don't know what happened. This would be fine now, though. Also, I noticed our stellar catalyst is kind of going down and we're barely giving it any power, so. Maybe we should increase the power. I don't know how long ago you set it up. Yeah, and did we get the tier 99 harmonies in that time? Because it was using like maybe 1 trillion EU per day, if that. Which is, at, at this point, that's very small. We don't have any chromatic lenses. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> I ordered hundreds of them. <laughs> it's making two million chromatic glass plates. <laughs> <laughs> this system is great. <laughs> oh no, it makes 12k every six seconds, so that thing is going to. Keep the PA running for like an hour. I don't know, like maybe ten minutes. I guess we never have to make more of these, though. That like that's the thing. This is going to be kind of painful, like early on. But eventually, when we actually like accumulate the stockpile of everything, then it's going to be super snappy. As we are, like barely have to even use it. Wait, what? What just happened? I was watching the craft go, and it was took, doing maybe twelve k every six seconds, and then it started zooming into two million in like two seconds. <laughs> huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that? Oh, 
All right. Oh hey, the DTP is almost done. I made 16 of them, it's already made 14 of them. Watercrafting going burr. And everything else is still stuck. Oh, uh... Wait. Oh, uh, are you looking at the quantum tank? I, I added a Yota tank for it. It's at the end of the other tank line that's going under the uh, walkway. <laughs> yeah. I noticed the tank was full and I was like, that's kind of wasteful, so I just felt just like keep stockpiling it as that is the end game fluid anyway, so I just felt just have the infinite amounts of it. Although I guess it doesn't really matter as stockpiling energy is the same as stockpiling cellar catalyst pretty much. Now, can you explain why the 100 chromatic cleanses I just made just disappeared? Oh, wait. Never mind, it didn't. The, the stopping bus is, isn't updating. There we go. All right. Now, do you run or do you not run? Oh, you run. Every three seconds, we get one quantum anomaly. That should be fast enough. A thousand anomalies per hour. And we can easily upgrade the power if needed. That's one step down. Now the question is, do we have Zeron 100 automated? Ah oh man, it's going to be painful to automate. I need to automate transcendent loop to make the metal rust as well, so I'm going to have to <laughs> pass if this melting of transcendent metal. Wait, I... Blocks. Oh, oh, right. My yeah, the bookmarks doesn't show the block because I clicked on the dust instead. <laughs> huh. Okay. That yeah. Okay. That blocks makes it a lot simpler to loop. Never mind. Now the transcendent metal. Or the Tesseract DTP is going to be a power hog. UXV voltage by default, so. Ah, yeah, that is true. Half a billion, true. That's nothing. I guess I can overclock it like maybe four times. Or actually, I could have multiple DTPs. Yeah, but also we have so many slots for DTPS that I just like like 16 DTPS making that recipe. <laughs> oh yeah, we get infinite share bomb from the Eternity. Wait, what's what's the thing? I remember looking at this one doing the Mark 6. Oh yeah. And that's the only way of getting Eternity, right? So we have to spam that anyways. So we just get infinite share bomb anyway. Uh, as a side product. Yeah. It has to be interesting. All right. Uh... Black Titanium, I distinctly remember automating, but apparently not because we're completely out. Zero on 100, we're also completely out. Ah. Okay. Okay. That is pain, but that's why we have Mega ABSs. No, I just need to add two more ABSs. Uh, assuming we have Argon, which... Do we have Argon? No, not really. We have 17 million, which is not going to be enough. Uh, how do we get Argon? We used bees before. 
Ah, yeah, space bump. Okay, that, yeah, very trivial. Never mind, not a problem. Did you already cut those? One. Yeah, okay. Probably. Yeah, uh, we might have to add one more space elevator, though. I don't... Actually, can we upgrade our space elevator to Mark V so we can add all the... Yeah, so we can add all the remaining slots. Huh. Okay. I'm gonna go hunt for one free slot as that's where I go to the bathroom first. I'll be back in a few minutes. And let's see. Well, this crap suck. <laughs> what? Right. Also, I noticed the laser engravers that you were completely overkill when we build it are mega slow now. <laughs> They're running on UAV. Oh, yeah, anyways. We'll be right back in a few minutes. Right, I'm back. Time to go scout out the pump location for the Argon. Uh, do we even have a Yota tank for it? I doubt it. I guess I can check from a P 2 p tunnel. No, we do not. Add uh, Argon Yota tank right next to the Stellar Plasma Yota tank. If those two are totally related. Yeah, I really wanted to make like an open computer thing that allows you to see where everything is, but at this point it's a bit late. <laughs> yeah, but I have to manually actually. I actually could use the coordinates to figure out what's where, but I would have to have an adapter in every single controller. Yes, there's no wireless. Although wiring them up isn't that bad. I can use the MFO, so I can just have them all on the backside. I, I could do it if I have some spare time while we wait for the start, start, uh, Stargate the craft, I guess. Actually, how? Huh? What? This is not labeled? Bruh. The 
But there are growth catalysts medium that wasn't labeled that uh I don't know why it's so up here. I guess you might have added this. No, Adam added it, of course. Why did we need raw growth catalyst medium in a tank anyways? Yeah, raw. Yeah, I never even tanked it myself because I didn't see any point. I... Yeah, the raw growth is only used like as an intermediate and we, the, we make the intermediate or we make the end product directly so there's no point in tanking it. That's why I'm kind of... That's why I didn't tank it in the first place. I already built a new one next to it. It doesn't even have... Oh, I guess it's supplied by the Yota hatch. <laughs> the P2P isn't even connected. Do you form? Yo, yeah, nice. Now, do I have channels in this? I do. Was there are cross colors? No? Wait, did I look wrong? Oh, it is a cross colors video. I think we're having a tank for this. I guess you do use to make stem cells, maybe? That might be it, maybe. Wait, that's four case. Hold up. Well, and I mean, it, it's there, I guess. <laughs> we're gonna touch it. <laughs> we have so many spare Yota tanks still that I don't think we're gonna ever run out. Yeah, I think it's wild how long this actually lasted. We built this tower in what, like, LUV or something? It's been completely ridiculous. Ah, yes, there are stellar plasma is directly inserted through A in it. No P2P for it. This is for UV energy orbs. Oh, huh, that might be it. Yeah, UV energy orbs are used to make ultimate batteries. Used to be the thing, maybe? Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Yeah, okay. Makes sense. But do we have a free slot over here? This seems to be a Mark V. I've never seen this motor before, so. Space pump. One. 
Mark three. I probably don't need a mark three for this. We don't need that much argon, so I think I'm just gonna use mark one. I think I have a connection here. Uh, five seven. Oh, it's structure. All right, I think I need to cycle the power here. This thing ran for like one second and it made 36 million carbon monoxide. Uh, so kind of slow, but I don't think I'm gonna need more than this art. More than this, yeah. Like I need what 24 black titanium 16 rod tesseracts. There's no way I can even have a me mega ABS fast enough for this. One step down. Now for the mega ABSs. I also saw you did hook up the mega ABS row uh, next to the ALs. Huh? <laughs> Oh, I saw those. Mm. The memory card looks fancy when you do that same time to the washer and the stuff. Yes. I the same scripts, right? They're all in the same resource pack. It is, I have released it. Uh, in my GitHub somewhere. Find it. Hello. Say things. Did I not release it? Hold up. I guess I did never add it in the GitHub. Oops. Do we have slots for the ABSs anymore? Exactly two. Nice. And then we're gonna need more. I don't think we have any automation. Have to, oh, I'm gonna have to ask Chi about that. What is this coil? Looks like hypogen or something. This may be the correct one. It's the same coil. Uh...
Ah, he's pressing the wrong coils. As if I place the coils beforehand, that should fix it. I haven't seen him in a while. I can probably ping him, we'll probably answer. What coins did I use on these other ones? We can try. What? What? Okay. Ah. Uh. <laughs> These mixed coils are so illegal on these APSs. <laughs> yeah. Why, can't, why is it even a thing? So bad. Yeah. Uh, actually, yeah, I did notice that you can actually get a hundred percent discount doing that. Yeah, I had an ABS with a hundred percent energy discount, so it it failed to run because it the, the time basically overflowed to zero, or the time was zero, so it had to divide by zero. I think this is errored out all the time. Mufla, I don't know. Some weird math. <laughs> I couldn't replicate it though. This is like a one off thing. I really need to make some decoration for these APSs. They look so out of place here. The entire thing is very low effort anyways. Let's build in a time of need. All of this does seem very easy to source. I don't think I need any automation under here. Just make on and I can just store this as uh, fluid. So yeah, be very simple automator. We are almost out of high power casings. It's annoying that so many things use them that uh, even if you order so many, they will eventually run out. Annoying.
Okay, what? Ah, this one isn't colored. Over is handled. What about chunk loading? It's all chunk loaded. I want it 82 channels over here, and this wireless might be reaching a capacity. Yeah, I don't have two left, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to get more channels over here. And annoyingly, these Mega ABSs still don't have automatic void protection. <laughs> so. Also, did I hear that DTPFs got um, uh, batch mode? How big is that? Oh yes, people like Phineas, I guess. Actually, I don't know. He's, he's also is the ALs. Why is it so dark all of a sudden? I mean, what? Oh, because I'm under the mountain. Okay. He left instantly. Free wireless, never mind. That wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. Um, but I'm gonna have to add more though. These are already normal ABFs. I should really hack the NIDAS display to show the combined uses from wireless and from the normal LC. So I can see how much power we're using. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I think that's like every one second or so. It would only, only be the Eye of Harmony is like starting a new batch, I think. Hmm. Uh, these are fine now, but I still need the that's the receiver. Uh, what was the channel I used here? For the six, this for the five. Yeah. Oh, wait, that needs to be for the eight.
I don't need the panels to tell what these things do. Um, do black Titan engineer, and that will be zero and one hundred. Oh, and I need two more other tanks for this as well. That's the wrong copper dust. Thank you, Nay. Very cool. Okay. Wait. Oh no. We barely have any steel dust. I think I have a passive though. So. Uh. Well, let me start by making like a million. That's 10 million. Oops. Wait, what? Uh, what the fuck is he doing? Oh. <laughs> I forgot to turn the active transformers on, so I just voided all the seal dust. Yeah. Well, it's uh, also tungsten dust, copper dust, molybdenum, nickel, and chrome. <laughs> oh, will we ever recover from this? Back to Stone Age. I believe I stock it up to about 4,000 in my passive area, and uh, right now it's getting used to make a zero. Oh. Huh. Uh. Uh. Actually, I don't know. Yeah, I... Huh. There's nothing that really uses it, so... 
it might be like one of the steals that I'm passively making like blue steel or something like that. But yeah, not not one hundred percent sure. Might be tungsten steel. How much tungsten steel do we have? Only one hundred billion. Only. <laughs> Right. <laughs> A small amount. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you kind of lose track of how much things you actually use. They vary so widely from like billions of things to like a few pieces. Hard to keep track of absolutely everything. It's getting voided. Wait. What do you mean we have no phosphorus? I cannot automate black titanium without phosphorus. You're not getting from the deep dark. Uh, or from the eye of harmony. Don't. Ugh. Okay, what's the easiest way of killing phosphorus? Boss. I guess I'm not gonna have to do that. Uh. Yeah, sure. Do we need phosphate or anything like in itself? Well, actually, we're getting we're getting a little bit of phosphorus from somewhere, so it might be enough for the black titanium need I have. It should be enough to make the DPS run at least. Yeah. yeah, I already have half a million liters of it. Yeah, this should be fast enough. Right now, I need the yacht tanks for this stuff. I. I why? Do we need that much zero and black titanium? I could just like use the giant output hatch as the tank itself. We've already done it in some other places as well, so. I don't like if we need large amounts for crafting, then we can just use the mega APS that have a pattern already. But this is for the, for, only for the passive stuff, so. Oh, also, um, it's better to not have this uh, revealed to the AE so that the passive stuff doesn't like do the annoying AE thing where it uh, says it's not available. Yeah, so I'll, I'll just have like, I'll just have to uh, throw the P2P. Yeah, and we might not have enough. Uh... I don't even need a tank. I can just use a channel out attach and just P2P that directly to the PDPF. Yes, but I was going to do that under the DDPF. Almost there, almost there. Two more steps. 
Oh. Ah. Uh, right. We need Molten Titan Steel, Molten Callisto Ice, Molten Ledox, Molten Tungsten as well. I don't think we do. What about Titan Steel? 800 million. Uh, oh. That's another ABS I need to add. <sighs> Alice the Ice is not done. Ledox is not done. Tungsten is done. Yeah, but I still <laughs> I have to pass it them all. Uh, okay. well, I guess at uh I can at least do the Tesseracts now. And then the Celestial stuff is just or the Transcendent Metal is just later on. Because right now we are completely out of test tracks. So. Alternatively, how fast is this recipe? Ah, oh, it's pretty slow. Uh, it's, it is worth passing. Oh, wait, right, but it has the loop in the uh, Transcendent Metal Rods. That's why I, I never upgraded the uh, Tetra recipe we have. Because I've also needs to transcend metal rods. And I was lazy to do that. Mm. Okay. Yep. Hmm. That's probably the Floyd. Because aren't all of our transcendent metal parts solidified? Apparently not. Well, yes, yeah, they are. Oh, oh, also, it needs 300 million more than transcendent for all of them. <laughs> <laughs> we could probably increase the blacklist to like 256. I'll go rerun the program. Maybe even 512. We're pretty rich at this point. I did, I did right? I did not. There it goes. Right. <laughs> Sorry, I might want to get rid of the hyperchain coils. Was a little outdated at this point. What are the DPFs? I don't think they're even used for anything. They are auto crafting, possibly. <laughs> I see. Yeah. 
Yeah. I'll just start kind of filling up this main or this first tower here. It's like passive stuff that we haven't had before. Uh, five more things to automate. But it's already kind of getting late. I might just continue the automation tomorrow if you can survive without Tesseracts. Yeah, I, they, we can still manually craft them, but we are not passively making Tesseract. Actually, wait, but we, we don't even consume the Tesseract anymore passively to make space time, right? Yeah, okay, so it's fine, yeah. Yeah, it is already past 10, so I think I'm gonna head off from Crack Stack at least. Maybe Dylan will appear tomorrow, I, although I kind of doubt it, considering he's really no life in Out of Exile. Wait, Delano already just. Hold up, let me check. Yeah, uh, did he wake up like super early to play Path of Exile? Oh no, he, he had something to do in the morning, I think. Yeah, let's see if anyone can raid today. Smoke and dragon, I guess I need to check that it's English. Yeah, that's English. Let's see. Smaller people. In part of my class sitting in queue. I don't know. Never played the games. So I don't know how it works. But yeah, we shall finish up the DTPS tomorrow. Maybe do some building as well. Uh, if Delon isn't online, then I guess I'm gonna keep on. Keep on making the auto crafting better and better. We're gonna make a gauge one day. Yeah. Yeah, tomorrow.